The real secret is reading history books and you seeing can't all just the continue rotten the stuff. conversation from before the <laughs> podcast. No one knows you. Welcome back to the, the Dialogue Choices podcast. We're back. Hello. Took last week off Hello. because Christmas, but everyone's here today. And also, Bert is here again. I was about to introduce him I, like you've never seen him before, which is weird in itself because he's around all the time. But it's, I thought it was his first <laughs> podcast, but I remembered he was on the weird yeah. one that doesn't feel like a podcast. Yeah, well, he's on never, the second uh, weird one now. So if you've never heard of me, I guess, um, welcome to your first video watching Keith, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that happens. Like, yeah, like we were little, I was, I was just streaming with you this week and people were like, who's he streaming with? And I'm like, I, yeah, huh. who's he streaming with? That's so <laughs> handsome and funny. <laughs> like they, they've, they've filtered everything. Like, like, a like there was like, there was a comment, like, two days ago that's like wow it's weird seeing durf in one of your videos i haven't seen him around in years and i'm like what <laughs> have you been filtered? well he, he uh, shows uh, up every once in a while it's well, not he's, yeah. he's been a lot of videos recently though too is, is that a yeah. it's the fact that you yeah. have to remember that people just use the front page of youtube so they get a bizarre like sh like filtered down version of your channel where it occasionally gets mm -hmm. shown up and then people think you just haven't been around for a while so sometimes people will oh, actually yeah. be the like algorithm's great about that yeah like every now and then somebody <laughs> be like wow you're back i missed you and i'm like i've been uploading like five videos a day for like six years <laughs> i never stopped <laughs> that even <laughs> happens to like big channels you know oh yeah um yeah it's there are so many people that are bad at using to. youtube yeah I, well, I mean, the reason... I, there's like a three-step process. You have to subscribe, hit that bell, hit the like button. Yeah, and then, or just use the, the subscription the, tab, but no one uses the that. The thing is, if, yeah, yeah, if you still do that, and then you just use the front page, it doesn't matter if you're subscri subscribed or... I was going to say subscriben, but that's not neat. <laughs> I like it's, that word. I, I probably shouldn't tell people about that tab. Because, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Really? One, people will quickly realize how badly they've been curating their subscriptions by just fucking clicking subscribe on everyone that asks them to all the time, and then they hit the subscribe tab, and then be like, "Oh, God, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's, fi there's 500 videos per day because I've subscribed to half of YouTube, which is like part of why there's inflated subscription numbers on everybody and so on." Yeah. But also, like mm -hmm. people that make a lot of content, like me, are like some of the first people that would get cut potentially if they were <laughs> trimming the hedges. So maybe I shouldn't be telling people how to use YouTube correctly. Keith is the hedge is the hedges of the subscription tab. And just let just let the front page organically show some of my content to them. That's, That's why I don't understand how people. Wow, what a way to put like the most contrived algorithmic <laughs> machine <laughs> learning brutal. thing. It's organic. Well, yeah, it's yeah. just like yeah. when people talk about like like what, it's it's just like when I would refer to like having a big backlog of mm -hmm. videos as as like a way of growing organically. <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's I know it's YouTube. It's not a fucking. I think it's. Ficus. It's more about su sustainable, sustainably rather than necessarily yeah. organic. It's just, you get, you know, I, I just I just refer to organic growth as the opposite of viral growth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do do you get though? Do you get like old let's plays all of a sudden? Like maybe let's plays that didn't even get many views at the beginning, all of a sudden getting like ten times the views that they got when they released. Do you have that happen a lot? Oh yeah, sometimes it's because like life happens in some way. Like uh, oh. Mandalore Gaming and H Bomber Guy make videos about pathologic <clears throat> games, and suddenly I'm like, "Look mm -hmm. at me! It's me, <laughs> the one person besides Solmatul, but I'm bigger than him, uh, who did I a pl let's, let's play of pathologic <laughs> games." <laughs> it's me. I also did that. Yeah, that happened to Take me that, with um... Solmatul, the guy that made a whole channel specifically about pathologic, yeah. and <laughs> come on the you show. Know, that, that, <laughs> that happened to me with um, with uh, West of Loathing because Markiplier <laughs> played it one day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, or like, uh, what is it, Epic Games will be like, this game's free, and sometimes it's a niche thing that yeah. most people haven't covered, because when it's like yep. Human Fall Flat or whatever, it's like every viral channel on the planet gets covered, but if it's like, mm -hmm. if it's if it's uh, Divi uh, b -b 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 Pillars of Eternity and Tyranny being free for the week, mm -hmm. then suddenly it's like, I got a bunch of views coming in, because I'm one of the largest channels to have covered them completely, and that's... Mm -hmm. Seeing mm. how my how high my subscriber count is, you can see how good of a strategy that is for you two. <laughs> it's like that's this, yeah, it's me, the ceiling for this genre. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> for me, it happened with recently with New Vegas, and uh, I'm I'm playing mm. through it right now, and it's mm. such a good game. It's just hard. It's like it's 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 a oh yeah, it's, it's kind of like lovely. You, people who covered New Vegas before H Bomber Guy made the video are probably rolling in it a bit now right now. 
Eh, well, maybe not so much rolling, but it's useful. Uh, yeah, New Vegas. <laughs> the problem with New Vegas for me is that the open world really shapes the game into something that is very hard to do a let's play of. Any open world game is is uh, for me, it's a nightmare to make a let's play of something yeah. that you know keep keeps the people. The yeah, you're like, how do I pace this episode, and how much do I try to get done in a given time, and like, what do I do, and uh, yeah, how, how, do, yeah. can I even remember what happened in the last hour to see, think of whether or not it was a good enough episode? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like, it's like, huh? I, I sometimes yeah. I just power through, just trying to think about it too hard. But no, like yeah, we, that's, we that's small channels sometimes just like survive off of the like the the fucking trickle trickle down leavings of larger channels in weird <laughs> accidental oh, ways. Yeah, yeah. The, I like to think the, of myself as rats. one of those like. One of those fish that follow sharks around and like eat the parasites in their skin. <laughs> no, we eat the shark we're, like, poop. we're like in the movie yeah. Parasite and it's flooding. Oh, yeah. And all of the sewage yeah. water comes down to us and that some of them are subscribers. Because, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, you hear that? You there are subscribers. A... You're the turds floating in the, in, in the sewage water that are flowing down from Markiplier's toilet. I mean, they're consumers. They know what they are. Like, there's a, <laughs> like there, there's a non zero contribution to me being a full timer coming from just the fact that Achievement Hunter made one video on The Witness that was infuriating because there were, Mm -hmm. like, five people trying to be silly and bothering the person that's playing and stuff while that person's trying to play The Witness and can't really internalize what's going on because it's The Witness and there's people yelling at him (laughs) because it's Achievement Hunter. (laughs) And that was just a weird idea for a video. But then Mm -hmm. people, people that actually looked at the game and instead of just, like, being, this game's stupid the way that everyone on the commentary was... Uh, if Let's people, see. the people that looked at it are like, this is interesting. And I'm curious about this. Like mm-hmm. they wanted to find more about that game and right in the sidebar of that video was my stuff. And then suddenly I had this huge spike and it's like, that might have made my career accidentally in a weird way. Like YouTube's fucking weird and big channels kind of control everything, mm-hmm. even when they don't mean to. Yeah. Cause it even changed more or less the way, uh, even the games that you cover, right? Cause it's a puzzle game. Uh, to some extent, that had already kind of started because <clears throat> I was all because I I started off with Souls games and then I was like I I guess I'll just play Souls games and I'm like fuck I'm kind of out of Souls <laughs> games because not even two was out yet I think <laughs> or no I think mm-hmm. finished finished two uh, but three and Bloodborne weren't out and so this first sin wasn't out so then I'm like uh, let's try to find something Souls like e which wasn't even a term mm-hmm. yet so just like I was trying to find third-person action RPGs with a lock-on mechanic and a stamina bar, basically. So I played Bound by Flame, which was trash, and eventually Lords of the Fallen, and then then Souls-like started being a thing. But uh, when I was getting more like, okay, what do I do with my channel now that the really obvious stuff is burned out, I played uh, Legend of Grimrock 2 because the first one was good, and the second one had just come out. And that one, people said, people seemed to like me solving the puzzles because that game's full of, like, secrets and puzzles in addition to the RPG dungeon crawling stuff. It's so stuff. rewarding, yeah. And so then I went like, okay, let's play, let's play like uh, Talos Principle since that was coming out, and let's, let's try play, play, mm-hmm. doing some puzzle games. And then did Portal and Witness, and then Witness really cemented that as being like a permanent part of the channel. It's like, okay, puzzle games are a thing here, which like mm. Andrew will remember. Common wisdom early on was don't ever play puzzle games because we tried playing puzzle <laughs> games in like 2011 and 12 and stuff like that, and it's like. It's like, obviously, there's no market for this kind of content because uh, everyone who 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 watches this stuff, like they already know the solutions to the puzzles because they've already played the game. So they're just mad at you for not instantly knowing what the thing is. And there's nothing more infuriating than watching somebody play a puzzle game yeah. when you know and the you solution know and they're just not though. getting it. And it's right there. And it's so obvious but uh, that, that that creates so much engagement. Right? Yeah, that's Apparently. that's the like, trick, right? Like you all get the people so that are... many views from people yeah. mad at you about how slow you are at the puzzles. It's that's so fantastic. the trick. That's so the <laughs> yeah. trick. Is all the comments just get like I was I was uh, I was thinking about I need to get around to it. I was gonna make a top ten g- games of twenty twenty video mm-hmm. just because the real secret there. Not only do people click on lists, but all the people yelling about your opinions is what makes the videos do well. <laughs> so, like, anything controversial does well. Like, mm-hmm. Friday, we learned that in 2012 when Friday was, like, the most viewed video of the year. Besides, like, Gangnam Style or whatever. And it's, like, it's just how mm-hmm. it works. And, uh, <clears throat> and yeah, like, puzzle games just do super well. Maybe because everyone's just being like, oh, my God, I am screaming at the screen right now. <laughs> Which, mm-hmm. I think I think to a certain extent maybe YouTube has stopped being so much about the list specifically. Uh, I think there's there's a I I have observed 
a, <clears throat> a sharp decline of, of that sort of, or not not really a decline, but a sort of a migration. People are going towards other net, uh, mm. net social networks to, to do that sort of content. But I don't really what you're know... saying about the engagement is definitely true for sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know what YouTube is even doing anymore at this point. Like you can't, they're, they're coming down so hard and like, thumbnails at this point where it's like if your thumbnail is not you with an open mouth looking at something you <laughs> just don't gosh. get it if you, have a, if you have a number in your thumbnail then they're like that's part of a series and if it's not number one in the series nobody watches it so they just they immediately kill anything with a number in either the thumbnail or the title at this point i just point. need to teach my entire audience braille and then to throw my numbers <laughs> in braille so that, so that you yeah, do get it and then I had to uh, in snow to make like an Ahe gal version of my avatar so that it's a mouth open mouth. And then it'll nice. be promoted by the by the algorithm and then we're good. Yeah, one thing I've I think been, this is a good plan. I've been getting into a lot more lately since I went on vacation <laughs> as I had time Ahega? to like get a lot deeper Ahega? into like running a channel. <laughs> uh, not Ahe gal. <laughs> God damn you all. <laughs> it takes no, skill. I mean and I, I I looked into it a lot more um, and there were a couple of things that were kind of like spurring that along. Like one was my auto uploader broke. So I was like, okay, if I have to upload any videos to YouTube, now I have to do it manually, which then had a knock on effect of where I actually started getting way more like invested and way back into it, which was kind of nice. But then I started like reading up on how the algorithm works at this point, And it's, it's just so nuts. Like, it's so narrow at this point what they end up promoting and it's just like no series is no indication that it's a series you can have a series but you can't say this is this episode in the series nowhere should it. that be found i hate it so much <laughs> yeah yeah the, like, if you search on like i i'm in the camp where it's just like if you <laughs> if you <clears throat> don't want to get the negative impacts of doing series mm -hmm. then maybe you shouldn't do series like yep. that yeah that seems like the solution right just don't do series and then and then you don't have to deal with the negative implications of how series are handled on the algorithm but uh like yeah. game grumps is doing like danganronpa and i'm like very happy that i don't want to watch it because it's like even though i technically got spoiled by the anime years ago it's still like technically spoilers to watch the game so i don't really watch it but mm -hmm. also i don't really like watching visual novels but i'm looking at their fucking thumbnails and everything and it's like it's just a random thumbnail and a random title that in no way indicate what part of the series it's in. And also on their mm -hmm. channel, they don't they don't they don't keep up on playlists and make them correct. Yeah. So there's just <laughs> no way to that. watch the videos in order besides going on mm -hmm. their video profile, scrolling down, down, down until they stop appearing and then trying to mm -hmm. click on them in order from bottom to top. Like doing like a where's yeah. waldo where you find all the duncan rampa avatars uh thumbnails which i'll remind you all look different <laughs> and it's like I, yeah how the fuck God. do you watch a series nowadays if people try to follow do that on oh, their like 100 episode cyberpunk playthrough or something yeah so what i've been doing is uh i don't know i i've um i've always kind of resisted going along with the algorithm and um that's been a very 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 terrible idea so oh, I've I thought you were gonna made, say, uh, I made my peace with a little bit more. And so it's like, now I'm thinking like, okay, I need to put together a thumbnail. I have the bird avatar. So my compromise there, so I'm not feeling too much like a sellout is like, I've made a couple of different faces of the bird avatar. And it's like, I'll start using those in the thumbnail to be like, this is bird with the mouth open. It's not me, it's an illustration. And I'm like, great, I've separated the artist from the work at this point. <laughs> I haven't started doing that yet. But then, like, when it's a series or whatever, like, what I've been doing is I just add a link in the description that says, this is the previous episode, here's a link to the playlist. And then a description above that that says, YouTube doesn't like it if you don't do this. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I read, um, I read a... Uh, linus tech talks he said something about it where he was just like i don't care <laughs> he was like he was like the youtube algorithm is what it is so you just have to not heart. give a shit well, the if thing, you're gonna live by it the thing the thing I, with linus is, is that he has such a huge channel that he doesn't need to care to a certain extent well he still does it 
If you go no, on, the, like, all those videos are oh, him oh, with I see his what mouth you mean. He doesn't open. care. Yeah, it doesn't care about the oh, implication. Oh, you mean he doesn't care as oh, yeah. if he just submits the to other it. way. <laughs> yeah, he just submits to I it. I mean, he doesn't care like, as in, like, he's like, fuck it. I don't, no. I don't he care. Still doesn't no, do I'm the guy, I'm he, the guy, I'm like, fuck it. I keep getting told every two years, here's the new correct way to YouTube, and I keep ignoring it, and it keeps working well enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I'm in the middle of like ah oh, series don't work and I'm like uh Hades the is like the most game, viewed <laughs> playthrough I've ever made. <laughs> Where like mm-hmm. like I'm about ten episodes yeah. in and the videos still get like two thousand views, which is mm-hmm. oh god. Like for me, like the best playthrough on a channel is usually like wow that one still passes a thousand views. That's crazy. Hades doubles that, and that's with the series <laughs> nice. number and the part number, and it's like I don't. Yeah. Part of it's like I I got tired of people always echoing Matt Pat stuff back at me. Well, which yeah, which that's itself infuriating on its own to, dimension. Yeah, because it's it's <laughs> random laymans that don't run YouTube channels pr- pretending to be authorities because they watched one YouTube video that's twenty minutes long once, as opposed to living it for a decade. But also, mm-hmm. Matt Pat doesn't usually like seem to have the best evidence that doesn't that goes beyond anything besides confirmation bias which is like he hypothesizes a thing and then looks at stuff he's like oh it seems to fit and then he just like claims it to be true and as far as i can always tell because the algorithm stuff is often almost never actually explicit because they don't want people to game it it's almost always just people guessing how it works and then eventually if it gets repeated enough it's taken as fact Mm -hmm. but it's not always it's really hard to tell if it's ever true bias Whereas everybody I said thinks confirmation it's true. bias. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I literally <laughs> said confirmation <laughs> bias. Like, well, actually, it's the thing you said ten seconds ago. <laughs> it's what he did before. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't know. I for some reason I literally didn't good, hear. Good. I didn't hear confirmation <laughs> bias. I, I think uh, that, one th- one thing I've yeah. noticed a while for a while now for like probably two to three years is that it's so much harder to get videos either because the gaming gaming industry is is in a different place now but to get like the first video to do well in a search engine optimization kind of perspective when i started the channel i had games like neo scavenger and um, darkest dungeon even or mm-hmm. fall tactics and i, I released those first few episodes and i and like i could optimize the the tags and the description and all that and i would get good search results these days mm-hmm. it's just impossible either because there's just too many big channels making one-off videos about the new game that's out, uh, which was, was always a problem. But for the Let's Play, it used to be like you'd, you'd search Let's Play for tactics and you'd get just Let's Plays. These days, it's not like that, as, as far as I'm, I'm concerned anyway. It's, it's, uh, you'll get anything, really. It's, it's more, much more about what does well than what actually coincides with your search results, I feel. I'll just do what it feels so- like. So basically, yeah, there's if you no incentive. Su- if you search up like "let's play" for something, I'll do that often. Where I, if I'm starting a new game, I try to get a basis for tags, and so mm-hmm. I'll look up like, okay, well, mm-hmm. what are you know, like, what are the top let's play? Tags don't matter this? anymore. Well, that's yeah. the thing. I just want to fill it though. Like you just fill it. <laughs> that's why you just grab yeah. somebody else's. Like, sure, I'll just fill it with stuff. Rapid and you tags. look, it's like, okay, yeah. let's play whatever. And like the first three results are like trailers. Like, sir, <clears throat> the words I use specifically do not include trailer. How did you do this? Yep. And it's like, and that's mm-hmm. particularly ah. bad right at right at the release of the game. Because later on, mm-hmm. like, older games, it's different. Because older games, everything is settled. But for for those few first few days where the vast majority of of uh, search like search results are in, in sort of expose exposure, that's where it's all at. Really, the vast majority mm-hmm. of it, and that's where it's the worst. It's like it's completely impossible to rise to the search results. And a, me as a small channel with less than a thousand subscribers, I would be able to do it with like obviously niche games, but still, it's uh, basically you, you remind I, me I, one of the skeevier practices that some of the larger Let's Play channels do sometimes, is which is that they just fucking rip and re-upload all the trailers as they come out, as if it's their content. <laughs> oh <laughs> and yeah, they, and they, just oh, put, they still and, do that, and they just put it they up still unaltered, do. and I'm like what that's not yeah. yours you didn't even like commentate on it yeah. you just uploaded their trailers and you're like my search results i'm like all right that's not yeah. how this platform's supposed to work but i guess no one's gonna stop <laughs> yeah that's something else i should start doing is um finding Stealing trailers content. and just no yeah exactly <laughs> no finding trailers and like just commentating over them Reactions. just being like fuck it we, whatever yeah like, we, we, we got we we primed you. We we went with we through boot camp two up two episodes ago. Isn't yeah, that like exactly. a, a, a big Twitch channel where it's just some dude watching? I don't know if he's some dude or if he has like maybe he's a game designer or something. He's just watching YouTube videos on Twitch all day. 
and people that's, like, that's pretty glorious that's, that's is, is it a genre that's, yeah, like, that's, that's like incredibly that's weird like an to industry. Me. I'm like, <laughs> I think the that's world. like half of the just chatting category or whatever is yeah, just people most, just most mm-hmm. watching other people's content, essentially stealing it and like lightly reacting to it, but mostly just watching it. Imagine yeah, explaining that to people who don't understand what a let's play is and ask the questions: Why would somebody want to watch you play a game? Like, dude, <laughs> there's a dude watching somebody watching somebody playing a game somewhere. Yeah, they want the social collaboration <laughs> and doing stuff together. Like, I'm oh like, fucking. Yeah. I'm, I'm just like, someone. You, you just know some audience members will be like, it's fair use. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's <laughs> the most stretched beyond meaning use possible. I'm sure to some creators it's, it's probably good like i i would love to have my videos being watched by somebody with a thousand oh yeah million. like it could boost yeah. certain things yeah. but it's often since, since they're just watching youtube it's most likely just feeding them the most popular stuff on youtube all the time mm-hmm. yeah well a lot of it too is like they're i i've seen uh there there's like certain vtubers stuff where it's like i'm gonna watch videos of animals on youtube it's like i don't what what these aren't your <laughs> videos like yeah i'm is, like i don't know if you're allowed to do this yeah this is isn't okay but like it's like a, oh but it's fun it's funny and we want to watch it's like okay yeah but like i think i make uh, your own shit like i think i was watching jack saint and they were doing like a like a i i'm watching it so you don't have to kind of like stream of like bon appetit or something because after or whatever food channel like had a big controversy and was gone for a year and came back and oh, it's like God. here's our new diverse cast and all this other stuff and it was like mm-hmm. agony uh and then he like so he's like watching it and reacting to it. And I'm like, yeah, but this is you're just live streaming their videos on your channel. And I'm like, mm-hmm. this is and you even explicitly content, said baby. you even explicitly said that like you could them that maybe people watching it via you will make them not click on the real videos. And I'm like, one of the most <laughs> explicit rules of fair use is that it can't be a replacement for yeah. the content that you're <laughs> yeah. commenting on. So nothing's yeah. more a replacement than let's just watch the video to rob them of views. I'm like, that's mm-hmm. explicitly not fair use. I don't That's the thing that's rough think about this like, through. That's the thing that's like we talked about this in video games, but like everyone most video games are a unique experience. The way you go about them, the way you play them, because it's an interactive medium, you can like you can argue that the way I played the video game is not uh the same way that a user would play i may play Mm -hmm. the game or do different actions thus it's not that someone watching me doesn't constitute them not needing to play the game like they they still need to play the game they they could you know especially if they make the wrong choices now they really have to play themselves (laughs) or murder all the npcs like andrew you can you can get a little bit narrower as you go down to genres like puzzle games become a little bit less like okay it's less open Mm -hmm. that way because there's only one way to solve this puzzle but yeah. like, if you look at something like Breath of the Wild, how the, you, can't, you can't argue that someone's going to play Breath of the Wild point by point the way you do. It's, it's not possible. Like, <laughs> I, there's mm-hmm. no way, you know? Like, I jumped off a cliff and, like, no-scoped a guy in the face and landed on him with a, sword, <laughs> you know, like, with a shield and then went that sounds flying, badass. careening 100 miles an hour to the left direction, flew to a tower, and then, like, dabbed. Like, that, you, <laughs> are you going to recreate that? No, you're not going to do that. You can't. You're, you're, just, you're, you're not good enough. <laughs> You can yeah, dab. exactly. Uh, yeah. or, you know, uh, you can't dab. You can always dab. No, no, I'm video. saying, are you going to regret it? No, you of course not. I'm not going to dab. I'm not going to dab. You know, I'm gonna dab right, right now. No, don't no, dab. It's true. It Word, it, why but, do you uh, dab? Because but, yeah, you said but, like, I couldn't. So, but like watching someone's video, what, you know, unless you're doing something ridiculous with it, like a, <clears> um, like a video essay. Where you're, you know, mm. br- breaking up into pieces, only showing like small tidbits, and using that to create a commentary. Or at the the worst case possible, you're gonna watch the whole thing, but every time someone like talks, you're gonna make clown noises. So you can't actually oh hear God. the video; you just see it. But there's just like clown noise. You're like, "What the fuck is this? This is awful! I just want to see the video." It. Then you could go watch the video. <laughs> like then you, I would, you know, I would be like, "Well, I guess it is fair use." He just made it unbearable to watch without <laughs> without him being there. That's Jesus not a replacement. Yeah. Fair use, yeah. I guess, can become you just ruining the thing and uploading you ruining it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, and, I, and that those are videos that are like, I'm okay with that. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, if you're, I think there's a. Sorry to cut you off, Andrew. I'm not. No, no, go, go for it. 
the I think that th it's very hard for us when we're discussing and for us and for anybody when we're discussing issues of a specific video or specific type of game, whether it's fair use or whatever, because mm -hmm. uh, it's for, very, very hard for us to see the big picture. But like, it's not hard if, if we try to, because the, the point is, let's plays and and to some extent, other types of, of secondary content creation where you're just sort of riffing off something that exists already. Uh, and mm -hmm. those include things like reviews, obviously, but to a larger extent, obviously, Let's Plays, which is the, the conversation that we're having, it creates <laughs> a community around the games. Like it, it's it's very it's very common for people to to comment about, oh, you played this game now, I'm gonna have to play it again, especially mm -hmm. on older stuff that I play. Um, oh yeah. But the, that's always gonna be a minority. I feel I, like it's easy for us to point to that and say, see, I'm making people play your game. I'm people making people yeah, play your like game. Yeah, it's like not a trackable data. <clears throat> Yeah, it's it's just yeah, it's just like you an can like just anecdote. convince yourself that you're making a big wave when really it's like that one guy is like, oh man, yeah. can't let this spoil me. I gotta play ahead. But I mean, the, I, I, and I'm sure it makes a difference, uh, and I'm sure it's part of it. But I think the larger picture is that it's the it's like the let's plays on YouTube as a whole made gaming better over the last. The, the, over the, the time YouTube has existed. And Twitch has done the same. It made gaming because... better and horror worse. <laughs> horror? <laughs> yeah. Horror made... Why? Because you people started like making video YouTube, games or YouTube horror movies? bait horror games, oh, which are like... Yeah. Um, which are like... Yeah. Have no mechanics and are just scare, jump scares and stuff. And it's like, oh, mm -hmm. fuck. Yes. <laughs> like a bunch of games... Okay. They took an interesting game, which was Amnesia, and then took all the wrong lessons from it for like for five the... years. <laughs> Yeah. Well, with the exception the of horror lessons, games, got then. them a lot of views, reactions, and money. Yeah. So it was a worthwhile en endeavor. The problem is again, it just like, and you have to, you know, turn the turn the nasty, decrepit finger back on the consumer. Like you did this, yeah. you <laughs> made also, like, this possible. It <laughs> There's also like certain kind of video games that you can see in the indie sector where you're like, ah, this is YouTube bait. <laughs> like this is like yeah. there are the tools here to make like a snappy, funny ragdoll thing happen, probably. But there's like mm -hmm. no, there's no meat here for a player that actually buys it to get out of it beyond like a highlight reel. It's like, oh the, shit! What, <laughs> like how do you like feel Phantasm about Phantasmagoria or whatever? Uh, right? Oh, I didn't see that. I was thinking That's of the one that with the like the, the ghost, ghost game where you can be like, game. yeah, where you can swear at the ghosts and the ghosts are like, like no. Nah. I don't know. Oh, I, never, oh, I, I the, haven't uh, played it, the, so I don't know. But Phantasm some people like Ghost Hunter International like one, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask about that. That uh, do you know that naked dude within the cauldron with a hammer? Oh, getting over it with Bennett getting body. Over it. That's the one. How um, do you feel about that game in particular? Because it's I clearly think it's made fantastic. for. I, th I I enjoyed it as a as a art piece sort of thing. But well, um, you need to. So Bennett Foddy talks quite a lot about like why he made the game and how he made the game. Yeah. Um, and the thing that makes him like kind of special. Let me fact check myself real quickly but i it, believe it, that he talks he in is the a, game a, for those who yeah he's a professor yeah. of philosophy right i don't like no, I, he was it, let me check he has this. some idea of what he's talking about yeah. a lot of it he did he uh, his postdoctoral research at princeton university um and trained as a moral philosopher on the topic mm. of drug addiction and there you go. he that. made quap and then like, it just comes from a very, very interesting place with Bennett Foddy, where, like, it, it, I think it became kind of YouTube bait and, like, streamer bait a little bit, but I don't think that he sought out to make that, you know? No, I think like he recognized it's a, it's much a later game, and a lot of people had their it. own special experiences with it in a completely private yeah. way. Yeah, I think that I he hated it. <laughs> I, think, I think he probably discovered as he developed it, like, he even includes like, hey, if you're streaming, please don't stream the end of the game, um, oh. which that almost Oops. then no, kind of I pokes think... it as like not being YouTube bait. If he's recognizing like, hey, I don't want you to do this one thing if you're playing it this way. Is it the getting over it that he doesn't want the ending streamed? Yep. Did he get over oh. it? Yeah, if you beat the game, you're technically not. It, 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 a button pops up that says, "I promise, I'm oh, not I streaming the game." That. Yeah, yeah. And then you, if you're a good human being, then you'll be like, "I respect the artist." And then if yeah. you're a good human being, you'll do whatever you want because, hey, I'm not here to pass judgment on you. <laughs> I'll leave that to the body. 
You didn't put it in Japanese, so none of the VTubers could read it. They just pressed <laughs> OK and went on. Like, <laughs> there. I I think like I think it it is. I mean, I mean, if he says it's not YouTube, wait, and if it's and if it isn't, then it isn't. But it, I feel it works really well for YouTube videos. But the most yeah. interesting aspect of that particular game and others like it, I'm sure, is that because it, it seems so difficult, but also so intuitively obvious how the mechanics mm-hmm. work. I think it makes people like, I want to try it. I want to I want to see if I can beat it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's like the perfect of both worlds in a way. It's not a a. a Something that you just there for the story, like I don't know. <laughs> the plot of getting over it. <laughs> the plot of did he get <laughs> over it? Watch to find out. But at the same time, it's not, it's not something like uh, what's that? Uh, that game about a kid who was abused by his mother, and it's it, there's turds. Uh, there's a lot of turds. Isaac, Binding of Isaac. Isaac, that's the one. I, yes. Yeah, that because that game is also very mechanically oriented, so it, it's it, like it's better f- to watch, but it's also. Uh, uh, there's also there an aspect of I want to try it myself because yeah. of the randomization and stuff. It's been a while since Isaac, <laughs> admittedly. Well, they're releasing another expansion pack for it, and at this point, I'm just like, seriously, guys, this is like the third one. Can we make a new game? Which is way more than that. <laughs> yeah, there's is it like uh, the fourth. I, I, yeah, that's the fourth. There's oh like my God. there's been like rebirth and rebirth plus and afterbirth, and I lose track of what order they happened in, but yeah. like. There that's was like, a, mul- there was like multiple lot. expansions to the first version of that game, and then there was like a complete relaunch that was a separate purchase completely, I think. And then there was DLC that was for Rebirth, that one too. Yeah. And so it's really confusing. That's but a lot. I never man. liked Binding of Isaac <laughs> enough to even exhaust or even really fully experience most of what it had to begin with. So adding stuff is meaningless to me. I won't even know. It. I won't even know it's new. It's weird. So here's the thing with Binding of Isaac is that I I beat Binding of Isaac. Like I beat the first game. I got every single ending. I got every single, uh, yep. you know, did all the different runs you can do. But be, like when it add when they added more, it was like uh, why? Like I already I, right. I'm already good at the game. Like you haven't changed the mechanics of the game. You just added stuff. They've like just you've added decided new they enemies want or you've added Northern new- Lion to have content forever. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, uh, but that, but what I'm saying is, like, because uh, they re- recently there's a new version uh, or a new game or a sequel to Super Meat Boy, and yeah. it changes the game. Like, it's not just more, more. levels in Super Meat Boy. Mm-hmm. There's like they changed mechanics in Super Meat Boy. There's different rules to deal with, and like that's the fun of a video game is the mechanics, the gameplay, doing the thing. If you're just adding more content, it's like. Okay, Okay, at some point I'm full. Like some point I've had enough of this content, you know, like of this mechanic. Mm-hmm. Like I'm so good at it that I like a game yeah. should always be just enough of a challenge where I keep wanting to play, but I don't want to like, but it's not hard enough where I just give up completely. And Binding of Isaac, like after you beat the first game, you're like, all right, that's it. I I've I've mastered these mechanics. I'm done. I don't I don't need any more. And then you go on and play a different roguelike, and you're like, oh man, this is interesting. I, I and. Ch- I checked because it's like required to check every time you mention him and his current episode count is he's on Binding of Isaac after birth plus, which I'll remind you, I think how it worked is it did a reboot with 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 rebirth. Then had that yeah. had a DLC called Afterbirth. Then Afterbirth yeah. had a DLC called Afterbirth Plus. So that's how many layers yeah. deep we are, and every time that happened, the number started over. Afterbirth mm-hmm. plus is eighteen seventy. Wow, that's oh, wow. almost yeah. two thousand episodes of the most recent version of the game. Only he's probably <laughs> uploaded like maybe almost ten thousand videos of just Binding of Isaac at that point. Then I mean, at this point, he's the equivalent of the Minecraft guy that just walks forever. Like he just made peace that this is his <laughs> daily life, and that's just what his channel but, is. And but the Minecraft just, guy who walks gets forever that video out of the way each day. Like that's he's just, only up to seven hundred and something. Not. Not that much. Well, yeah, because he's not daily. But like, you just make peace yeah. with the idea, like that's what this content is. It has this schedule, and mm-hmm. I you just do it, just like a job. You just, like, you just do it, even if it means you have eighteen seventy episodes of this version of. Oh my god, hey, is there a master I'm playlist? Con- I'm confused he makes a by shit like ton of money. What is this like, total? I'm confused by what the. <laughs> like okay, I I understand. There's like this this level of you create what makes you money, and even if you don't like it, you deal with it. But at some point, 
why I, are I, people watching this content? Yeah. Like, are you enjoying watching the person you like making content suffer? Like, what the fuck is this? Like, you're probably you're like, oh man, I I really enjoy your content, but if you don't fucking make Binding of Isaac, I'm not gonna watch your shit. Like, I swear to God, you're only funny when you're doing that. It's, it's like a, I, a user like, made a channel. I mean, a, a user of somewhere made a playlist called Northern Lion Binding of Isaac All Videos, and it has four point seven thousand videos. That's less than I expected, but four thousand seven hundred forty videos. That's Last way too many. On December fifteenth. I, yeah. It's and you know what? I'm gonna be. I'm, let me just make it very. Let me make it very clear. Binding of Isaac is not that good of a game. It's not. It's not good enough to withstand playing that much. It's not that fun. Uh, yeah, it's, that's it's, my. Yeah, it's very basic. It's just a flash game turned to a real game, and it has some oh, yeah. cool flash stuff in it. Can like be real as well. <laughs> No, I'm, but I'm saying it's just it's just a, it's like a I did a, a quick flash game in Newgrounds. It got popular. I'm gonna turn it into a, a full on executable game, like they did with uh, Alien Hominid. You know, it's 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 not that the game itself is groundbreaking. It's like they did something with a limited medium, then they released mm -hmm. it on a full fledged medium, and it's fine. But it's nothing. It's nothing like groundbreakingly interesting enough to make content that long, yeah. or to continue making even content for it. Like I'm sure he's game. just talking over it. Like by the by no, this no, time, I'm he's saying just... like even adding more to it. There's nothing. Don't add oh, to Binding of Isaac. Mean. Make a new one. Make something completely different. Make like Binding of Isaac, where instead of it being in that view, you be in a different view, and instead of getting items that way, you get items in a different way, or like just something. God, it's just it's so. Yeah, I think it, I think the, it's just the drive yeah. of like, well, people sure seem to still like us, and they keep they keep they won't seem to not never stop playing it. I guess we'll add another thing to it. I, I get that feeling from uh, like Minecraft has mods. The, I get it. You know, you can at least like mm -hmm. change Minecraft in such a different way. But like Binding of Isaac is so goddamn. There the are Binding of Isaac mods, time. but they they legitimately don't really change the game. That's I, would argue, uh, I would argue Clay Entertainment. I get yeah, that feeling from Clay. Clay Entertainment. Like they oh because of. Uh, don't starve. don't starve like they yep. made a they made a, a series of very different games and then don't starve came out and it just keeps building momentum and living forever but then they like uh. they go make a different game and then they come back and make a don't starve expansion <laughs> then they go make a different <laughs> game because like don't starve just never it has 159,000 reviews on steam <laughs> holy crap <laughs> and it's like, all overwhelmingly I, I, positive I, so you're like fuck I, I guess we'll I just played. add to this indefinitely I've played Don't Starve, and I've gotten to it. the end, and I hate it. It's not interesting. I don't like, yeah, I don't like yeah. the game. It, just I think it's more kind of interesting stuff. than Isaac. But it I, is, I'm happy it, that Don't Starve, Starve stuff, or like, those kinds of projects seem to fuel stuff I'll like more, like Invisible Ink, which was great. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm willing to, I'm willing to, like look aside like really boring bloating games like that if it means we get cool stuff in the you know, on the side. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's the that's like the the symbiosis, like the or like the narrative irony of sorts going on here is that like both Northern Lion and the company who makes the game he plays are kind of both in the same situation where yep. they're like, I'll go make my own passion project or side projects, or whatever I feel like here and there. But also like the backbone of the whole thing is you just keep going back to like the main series forever <laughs> so like both but the Keith, game company that makes the game and the youtuber that plays it both are like I, the, the, the binding of isaac people they, they don't get bored they never go away but keith, <laughs> but keith <laughs> he has so many episodes you, the youtube playlist function is going to stop working <laughs> because it can't no, it support more than five thousand <laughs> for a playlist well he doesn't make so, he doesn't make those playlists he each version of the game makes and gets a new playlist mm -hmm. from oh, him. it's the okay, it's okay. the audience that tried to make a super one but like, still, it's Andrew like, and I experienced just, that with sad games back in the day where we tried to uh, we were just making all these different pieces of content that would get like 10 views. Then we'd upload an episode of Tokyo Jungle and get like a thousand views. And mm -hmm. we're like, do we just keep doing more Tokyo Jungle? And like people still we, come to the channel when I'm live streaming and go, like, could you play more Tokyo Jungle? Like, yeah, if they make a fucking sequel, <laughs> like, I'm not going to play this fucking game anymore. I'm done. I know all the mechanics. Yeah, I have the dinosaurs. We, it's yeah, over. We, like, we, stopped, what? we stopped at 20. <laughs> And like that channel specifically is flagged for like if Tokyo Jungle gets uploaded, share it. And like we could have if we if we were more organized and I mean, probably if we were in a better place in life and weren't living in different towns at the time and so on, 
if we had just embraced Tokyo Jungle fully, we could have we might have been full time for all I know, like <laughs> yeah. from that channel, mm-hmm. and there'd be a different fucking alternate timeline. Because like yeah, like Sad Games has a long history of just not doing that well, but every Tokyo mm-hmm. oh, yeah, Jungle no. video has dozens of thousands of views for confusing reasons <laughs> and like if we kept growing that like northern lion <sighs> like maybe that would just be our weird begrudging game we keep playing but like who cares we don't have we get to make a living doing youtube so i guess it's working mm-hmm. <laughs> i would hate that i would hate it so much and then, so much. <laughs> and then you found the synergy because you started doing fucking visual novels you're like how do i mix that with tokyo jungle and then you played no <laughs> Which, uh, like, again, right. that's also something people come back is like, could you finish yeah. all the roots in Nekojisha? I'm like, man, like, I'm it's so, date it was some so cat hard. Boys. It was so hard to finish the first route where I'm like, I really don't care. I hate all of these characters. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Like, I, none of these I are cute girls, for a minute. please. No, no, I'll these be are cute girls. <laughs> Well, it's all furries. I don't want. I don't. I'm not a furry. I don't like furry stuff. I, I just. I'm here for like. I, if it was a cat girl, I would be there for it. But it has to be like that's, an actual that's that's also Gigi, not on. like you, not yeah. a cat, not a not a cat that you, is a you girl. You did also like, play Nekopara. But I think that's Nekopara is great. Love Nekopara. It's <laughs> easy. It's fantastic. It has cute girls. Awesome. But like, yeah, I it's it's so. <laughs> I would I could do visual novels uh well I can sort of do visual novels forever but it takes so much energy to to read all of that and especially because I'm doing voices for different yeah. people and like it, I remember it's a some lot. of your first visual novel content you tried to make you would just go uh-huh click uh-huh click uh-huh <laughs> I was like what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> what? That was like probably circa 2013 or some shit. But I'm like, wait, what do you wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, what do you think your job is here? Because you're just watching the text and <laughs> clicking. You're like, what are you doing? Uh, it's yeah. definitely easier than reading it. <laughs> yeah, now it's like I it, it it's tough. I I would love to again. I would love to do more visual novels. I think it's a fun medium, and there's a lot of there's yeah, a lot when of. Are you, uh, you going to finish uh, Disco Elysium? <laughs> A lot of well, I'm gonna finish it when they voice the entire game for me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not Do gonna voice that whole game for me. There's so much talking. I like even yeah, after doing the just game. the first first playthrough. Is like okay, there, this is a lot. This is like a visual novel, except uh, a lot harder because I yeah. have to think about other stuff I'm doing. Like a visual novel, <laughs> Actually, is just click, 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 and read. But like <laughs> Disco Elysium is like okay, you got to remember the stuff you're doing and the voices you're doing. I'm like oh, fuck, <laughs> like. <that. laughs> Do you have to go, Bird, or something? Yeah, something did just come up, so I'm going to have to head out. All right, yeah, just throw your stuff Not in serious, the serious, but I just got to take mm-hmm. care of it. All righty. This was fun. Bye-bye. Take care. We, we didn't get yeah, to any of his topics. Oh, a... Bird had topics? Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah. on chat. Instead, yeah, let's we... do a viewer question. Shit. <gasps> I forgot. I haven't done those in a while. Throwing a curveball into My this. My God. N- a nice sequence Andrew. break. This is, the, I, yeah. How do you open? Wait, did we already do the the song one last time? Yes. Yeah, that was last time. Okay. Yeah. Answered questions. There we go. Put it over there. Question for Stephanie. Well, she's not here. Uh, Sorry, guys. She is. Uh... Max Damage asks, uh, I'm currently studying social services over in Australia and was wondering what it was like for you all overseas. It's a topic I don't believe you discussed a lot. So, what are your opinions on social services such as disability care and advocacy, and what do you think could and should be changed, and why? I have almost no perspective on these topics because I don't really so, have any social services uh, in my life, and never really have social besides social services. Medic care are yeah. So I have I I have interacted with all forms of social services in my life. Um, Going from child, from like the child part where social services literally taking children uh, from homes that are bad all the way to like, yeah, Medicare, uh, socialized, well, not, sorry, it's not socialized medicine. It is state, state, run. Uh, state run medicine that's funded by taxpayer money. So it is social, socialized medicine, but it's not, don't call it that. It's not socialized medicine. It's not, uh, sta- it's not even say state run medicine. It's state run a life it's insurance state paid, well state paid for no it's state we have state paid for medical 
Oh, just, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Nice. Well, <laughs> yeah, of course we don't know that because we're not going to say we have that because that's socialist. But we just, we have it. It's there. It's just in the background, quietly sitting there. Shh, don't talk about it. Poorly funded. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's, in the U.S. at least, it's, a uh, you know, much like everything in the U.S., it's a state-by-state -state case, and it's almost always a laughable, miserable example of what you can find in, like, far less economically successful countries. Um, it, it's frustrating and it's annoying and it has a lot of a lot a lot of problems with staffing uh, funding and most importantly awareness people aren't aware of how these services work they aren't aware of their like how, like what what qualifications you need to be on them like that's why you get uh, that's why you get a lot of the derogatory statements of like welfare uh, babies and stuff like that which is laughable if people could just live on welfare that would be truly marvelous uh but yeah. you cannot in this country there's no way to just be a, a welfare person forever like they they require you to do things like you have to tell them you're looking for a job and prove you're looking for a job and even then they're not sending you enough to live off of they're sending you like enough to keep yourself fed but that doesn't doesn't mean anything you don't have a place to live which they can't send the checks to if you don't have a house that you live at or a residence you don't live at so you can't even get social services unless you live somewhere which you can't afford to on social services so it's the point <laughs> uh medicare is uh frustrating by all accounts they will do everything they can to not help you when it matters most um and i uh like my we had a situation where like when my mom had cancer, she had normal Medicare, like medical insurance, but, um, but it got to a point where it was, uh, they, they basically just dropped her because it was like, okay, well, this is going to cost too much. And we're kind of like, no. And so that's it. They just like threw their hands up and left. Um, and and it was like okay well she's paying a certain amount so uh the only way she could continue it is if she pays like triple the amount she was paying which would basically put her in a position of either eating or medication uh and so then the solution was like well we can go to medicaid uh, like medical and uh, medical is a fucking dumb name for your fucking medical service because it's spelled the same way as medical yeah. which no, is yeah, ingenious you fucking <laughs> idiot but it's <laughs> medical, which is I fucking I so I was it's so pain, mad. Not only is it painful, yeah, no, it's it's painful that it's the same spelling as medical, medical. But I also I could endlessly mix up medical and Medicare because they're basically the same so word, close, and yeah. they're both different systems for different people, and it's uh, fucking incomprehensible. Oh my goodness, what? So Sorry. Oh. In in about fifty videos, I'm gonna overtake Northern Lion on video uploads. <laughs> oh wow! So next week, he's got fourteen nine eighty seven, and I've got fourteen nine forty one. <laughs> Watch out, bud! You've got competition. <laughs> you got another thing coming. Yeah, uh, but so so we switched over. We had to switch over to Medical, and uh, Medical. We had to like fight with them to to keep letting like keep having them help pay for her like she was still paying for getting chemo which is not cheap by the way it's a very expensive thing but like medical was constantly pushing us back like no no you can't do it. it's like no one will take her she's dying of of cancer no one will accept her in health insurance and like there's only so much money we can reasonably spend to keep her alive but at some point like we have to just, oh yeah like, most of our social alive. programs are just seem to be designed to fight you yeah and it's like i what so what is the purpose of medical insurance if they can just charge you so much that you might as well die and what's the point of social services if they will not accept you because it costs too much like where so just die is like the 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 solution is like you're either rich enough to afford not dying or you're too poor to live and it's like i what <laughs> then why they, even bother <clears throat> did you create the social service unless you just like did it out of obligation because begrudgingly someone was like, I'm not going to improve your legislation unless you approve my legislation. And like the Medi-Cal is such a, a, a good example of like, okay, well you didn't think this through because 
from the naming all the way to how it works is just ass all the way down. So like no one cared. You just pushed this through for some reason. And it's like, well, yeah, and that's our, just, our entire our entire country, like every support system built into it seems to be just endlessly compromised by the fact that it's there's a there's like there's one party that wants it to exist and one party that wants it to just not exist and like the stupid myth behind a lot of american everything is this idea that like like that's like we're gonna find a compromise behind everything that ever made that everyone's happy with but it's but like it's a compromise between usually a party that wants the thing in a party that wants it to completely not exist not like they want a different version of the thing or anything so it's not like a midpoint you can't have a midpoint between existing and not existing so you just get broken versions of everything that don't do any of their intended jobs most of the time and how well they work oscillates wildly in part because the entire country's leadership just flips like a light switch every four to eight years and the, so it it, it 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 literally is in an act of being built or in an act of being destroyed every four to eight years. And it's like, how the fuck do you manage this? How, how the fuck does anything exist here? And what a terrifying place to live, like being somebody that relies on any of these systems that can just come and go whenever they feel like it, essentially, over the course of your life, which you outlive uh, presidencies, as it turns out. Hopefully, I also I also got the impression that one of those parties, specifically the party that wants things to exist, um, tries. The thing is that compromise only comes from from the Democratic Party. I feel. Oh yeah, because you don't see the Republicans being like, "We're going to work with the other side of the aisle." No, they they don't do that. No, um, yeah, in the, fact, the, the Republicans figured out the strategy of just like completely stonewalling and being petulant babies whenever they're not in power, and one hundred percent don't let a single thing ever happen, no matter what you do literally refuse to appoint a supreme court judge for like a year and a half kind of behavior just the most embarrassing shit because they get away with it and their own their own supporters don't see it as sad baby shit they see it as winning and it's like oh fuck yeah, yeah. it's like it's it's like up there with the idea that like capitalism doesn't work in many cases because the people at the top like they literally just cheat and steal their way there and actively rewrite the rules and find every way to get there illegitimately and that's how they win that's just that's the intended that, that's, that's just, how you that's, become that's, yeah. that's the incentive structure meanwhile the democrats constantly want to look like these like peaceful uh, collaborators that will work together with everyone and reach across the aisle and they keep like paying lip service to or actually behaving this way and it clearly doesn't work. And it just means that you're helping the Republicans get their way, even when you're in power. And so it, it just makes us an even more center and or right of center country all the time, even though the Democrats literally have more <clears throat> popular policies. <laughs> like the, le the leftist ideas are more popular than the ideas of the right. But be th there's two factors that constantly go up and, and probably more. But like there's the. There's the Electoral College and other structures just sort of like biasing the totals in favor of the less popular party so they get to win without actually having to appeal and change. And then there's the fact that the popular party keeps bending over backwards to try to, appe uh, to please the unpopular party that will not work with them. And they just never learn or change. But and also, like... It it's very much that, but as I get the impression that, I mean, we're, we're recording this on the eve of the Georgia uh, special election. Uh, which is going to decide the Senate, as far as I'm aware. And um, it, it's not just about them working with the other side. They also appeal to the other side. Just look at their whole campaign in Georgia, a, 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 a state that is largely, um, uh, that has a, a, a huge amount of of, uh, of black people living there and, and non-white people just in general, and th that are very diff disenfranchised, not just because of things like, uh, what is it called when they make sure that people don't vote? What's the name for that? Uh, voter disenfranchisement. Dis I know. Well, no, no. Uh, yeah, voter. What is it called? It's, it's voter suppression. That's voter the one. suppression. Yeah, yeah or disenf disenfranchisement shit. Yeah, but that's the, not, the that disenfranchisement. Is not an easy word. <laughs> the disenfranchisement. Yeah, that that word comes <laughs> also from word? the fact that they just don't cater to those people. Nobody like all they had to do, in my opinion, is they they, they go to Georgia. They they and they promote things like Medicare. They promote things like. Uh, I mean, now with the pandemic, um, the did, did they even go ahead with the six hundred dollar checks? 
They did? Okay. So they promote the 2000 every month retroactively, which they should do. Like, the US is such an enormously rich country. You absolutely could do all these measures because yeah. you do you effectively do the measures just in another form, which is you have an enormous war machine. Just, like, well, they, they, look, they choose not of, to do that. We have we promised to spend an X amount of money to military every year, and it just keeps increasing, and no one says yeah. no. We have a very frustrating, yeah, exactly. seemingly unsolvable problem where just just people on the left just don't vote <laughs> like there's just there's just so many young people and minority groups that just do not vote and in in recent years in particular there's a there's like an ideological um, opposition to voting where they think that they're like winning one over and, and like defeating the man by not voting in this like annoying way and it's just like you, you yes we can all talk about how voting is stupid and like is all and this whole system's bad and it's a false choice because you don't get to actually choose who the electorate are in the first place so you're choosing between two shitty people and there's all the other things but not voting is still stupid <laughs> like I it's still I stupid agree. Well, the idea you. is that you're supposed to you're supposed to like use that power against them by finding local people that are going to do what you want and push them to the top. Like that's the idea is you you find well, people that you know you that aren't oh you know that are not corporate bot or not people that are backed by uh, legacy politicians. Like but even when you do that, then they cut off Jamal Bowman from CNN when they was about to criticize the Biden pick for. What that, was it? it do, that doesn't do matter. Do you remember the one? That, that stuff doesn't matter. All you it do doesn't is you matter. Just keep, it's just a... You just, it's a, you it, just keep it's pushing a, people and eventually you get... You just fessy as ship your fucking government. But you if push people... you replace people, everybody in the government with people that you want, the only, which... The only reason why they push people, though, is because there's people actually campaigning on those terms. The, the reason I think... Uh, in my opinion, the reason why the the younger people don't vote... And it's it's not just... This is not just about the US. It, it, the same happens here in Portugal. Uh, and I don't know, don't know about other countries, but in my opinion, it's just that large number of the policies are just not in line with the younger population and the the ideals of the younger population. And so, and in the U.S., it's certainly the population at large because the vast majority of people want Medicare. The vast majority of people want uh, things like basic income uh, and uh, and jobs guarantee and all that sort of stuff and Green New Deal and all that. Oh, yeah, just watching but, how much of a bizarre struggle it is to get even just like the legalization of marijuana and gay yeah. marriage, like how long of a legacy that was when it was already the popular opinion for so long, which is like, okay, something's broken. And some of it is the yeah. system, but also some of it is that the people that think these things just don't vote. And it's like, okay, that being the majority opinion doesn't matter if you don't do anything ever. Yeah. You just sit well, there on your computer of, and be like, like, I agree with this idea. That's the end of my input. Yeah. Fuck. There's, <laughs> yeah. Well, and I think there's also a, there is, you know, there is a thing about, uh, you could argue, some people just say things and they don't mean it. People, people say stuff and then they vote a different way. Uh, some people are less solid in their views. They think yeah. this one, they think one way and they're easily swayed or scared into voting something else because they think. Or, yeah, or, they, or they think them. or they think one way but teens yeah. like you see people you see people yeah. who want social services but they're like yeah but i don't want to pay uh, it, i don't want it to come out of my taxes oh, okay good let's go tax the people you know who have the money to fund <laughs> oh, yeah it. it's like, that's another yeah, measure don't do yeah, that absolutely. that's unfair to them and it's like yeah. i don't want no what do you want you want the thing but where are we gonna pay for the thing it's, and it's like well i don't i just want the thing is it or you just have like the complicated so psychology of like people that for example, uh, are in favor of gay people getting married, but like their entire life, they've always voted Republican and there's like everyone in their life votes Republican and like there's like a team that they can't imagine ever deviating from. And so that just overrides yeah. Yeah. any of their actual opinions. Yeah, there's also yeah that policy of like, oh, I do want all these nice things, but if I vote blue, they're going to get rid of my religion. It's like, what? What the fuck? Yeah. What is wrong with you? I mean, you? religion what you... is what it's like. Is like when you grow up with like it's like if you're if you grow up in like a Seventh Day Adventist community or some shit, then it's yeah, like oh boy, that's like you're in a specific group. And if you there's that fear, there's the emperor's new clothes fear of exclusion sort of thing, where it's like if you step out of line or say the wrong thing, you might there's the fear that you'll be like excommunicated from your community in some way, and the rejection that comes from like not agreeing with like your parents or your peers politically. And like that's a real thing, and a lot of yeah. us that do vote certain ways or express opinions in certain directions experience that. If like it makes your life worse to be in conflict with what? people that are important to you because they have shitty ideals. 
But fun fact, voting is a private endeavor. You don't have to tell anybody who you're voting for and you can just do I, it privately and no one can no one can legally do anything about that. Like that's the point Yeah, of but voting. people also well, become confident event. in their ideas by expressing them in many cases and yeah. getting support. If they if they never express it or they get shot down and stuff, there's a lot of like 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 self-hating stuff or even like dilute like deluding oh, themselves into thinking yeah. that maybe it was always wrong just, to think that anyway and so maybe you shouldn't vote that way. Like out, outward expression informs inward thought yeah for sure and and just also the fact that you know we can have an opinion and just think yeah maybe it'd be cool if things were better in society but without actually having conversations it, like on the internet it's it's it for sure the internet helps a lot if you're looking for certain for certain feedback on on whatever ideas you have but per, there's nothing like personal conversation having a chat to chat with uh, like a tete-a-tete -tete with a friend just about like anything really, even if it's small or insignificant, that can absolutely strengthen your beliefs. I, I've had that experience in me uh, for, for multiple subjects. Just, you know, the fact that I talk to a friend about it, some some aspect of it and just, you know, clear things out or, or you know, work things out in my head and in, with with speech. Yeah, I, mean, you know? I mean, like gaslighting is a thing, like the way that people interact with each other can completely color your view of how reality works and what's real and things. Yeah. And like being Absolutely. able to confirm, th like there's moments where like, like to ignore politics entirely, there's just like aspects of like you interact with somebody and there's a weird conflict and you're, conf you're confused and baffled and you like, you don't think you did something wrong and you're not sure what happened. And like, sometimes you need to like refer to a third person to like, gauge your reality of what the fuck just happened to center yourself i'm like did i do something insane and wrong here or did like was that just weird yeah. what just happened there like the, you count we, we socially calibrate with other people in many cases and you're you're you can like lose confidence in what you think is the fuck true about anything if you can't like anchor with anybody so being I, so again, socially isolated um ideologically can be a, a you're just stuck like you, 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 you just lose any thought you had in that direction potentially and that's, that's for those of us lucky enough to to be just a matter of ideology rather than actually the people that we are because there's a lot of people who suffer a lot more directly because of the political ideologies of you know like somebody who is trans or who's gay or just like even not even not even just being um not 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 even just that even just believing in that sort of stuff can get you as far as i'm aware there there's situ like there's situations where you're just you're just not going to be able to live with with those people and it's because you just can't can't talk about stuff if you if you say no i i don't i don't vote republican you know what i mean that's sort of those oh, sort I mean, of i and i get it i i understand that some situations are really tough and you can't just like yeah i what I, I always well, my like uh, for the people in those situations where you're in a where you feel like you cannot communicate with people about dissenting opinions, you can't have anything but going with the grain opinions. Once you like keep those opinions, just keep those opinions, don't throw them away, keep them. Wait until you can move yourself a little bit further from those people in terms of dependence. Once you're like a little bit more independent from those people, then say stuff. And say it forcefully and loudly and meanly. And that is how you can <laughs> gauge. Like, no, and I'm serious. I do. I have to do this with my family every holiday. Where, like, my aunt still thinks, like, right now that, that Trump's still president. Like, he didn't lose the election. She, he, they're they're going to they're gonna find the missing ballots. He's, she still fucking thinks that. Like, I went over there on Christmas. She still fucking thinks that. And I was like, I, I, I don't know what to say, but you're fucking wrong. Like, you're just dumb. There's, there's no level of, like incompetent moronicism that i can explain to you how fucking stupid you are and that's what i say to her po like point blank is like you have to be fucking idiot to think that literally and you've, you've literally been alive like twice as long as i have you've seen multiple elections how the fuck are you this stupid how the fuck yeah. are you this stupid it's unacceptable the like right, stop doing it the right has been primed like, for conspiracy theories for a long and, time and it's and it's fine because yeah. if my you like know they, they if my got family really, gets they got really me, used to like the to climate change denial and then that just opened the door for like infinite conspiracy theories all the time. Like I am continually how do you, how do you shocked enjoy that when life, I though? when I encounter people in like in my own family and other in other groups and so on where I'm just like, wow, 
uh, those Alex Jones conspiracies just reach everyone, don't they? Like, they have amazing fucking reach. It's incredible how many people I meet between, like, the ages of, like, 40 and 60 that are like, oh, yeah, that was a false flag shooting, and it was all actors and stuff. And it's like, see, here's a here's a yearbook photo that proves that David Hogg didn't even go to that school. And I'm like, really? The yearbook photo where right next to him on the grid is somebody wearing the jersey of the school that the shooting happened in that's the one that proves he didn't go to that school the one that sh- the one that proves that he went to the school is the one that proves he didn't go to the school what the fuck like that's the level of fucking evidence that happens like no one even looks into it a little bit like yeah. I, back when i was on facebook i had the experience of somebody like they they shared a video about how like oh my god there secretly wasn't a shooter at the vegas shooting it was a false flag operation and I looked into that YouTube channel that they were posting, and that same YouTube channel also had a video about how there were secretly two shooters, not one. It's like, okay, which one is it? Like, this guy's just fucking shotgunning conspiracies because they get clicks, but they're getting shared on Facebook by people who think that they're real. And I'm like, and they're like, mm, make, makes you think, thinking emoji. And I'm like, no, no, this isn't evidence. These videos are just people talking out their asses for clicks, and it's monetizable, so they get incentive to just keep making more of them, and nothing matters. It's like the, it's like game theory but for burning down society (laughs) like it's like the worst version of game theory where they're just chasing the algorithm of what gets clicks but it's like they have no morals (laughs) and it's like you want to feel right and you want to feel included and you want to feel like you know something that other people don't and so that's like the appeal of conspiracy theories but the problem is like conspiracy theories also need to you know make sense there needs to be a conspiracy like what the fuck w- is the conspiracy with like yeah. a, a school shooting where you kill children? Like people died. You could just go look at those fucking dead corpses. They're they're real dead corpses. Well, it's like, it's like, like well, <laughs> Jesus. What, but it's like what do you like? What, I just I just live in the world where like I was I was well past the point where like it was already Politifact's lie of the year, pants on fire. Like the biggest one of the entire year was like Alex Jones's uh, campaign against the sh- the school shootings that were real. That he just decided to pretend weren't real for some reason because he's an insane person and he's literally already getting sued for it and it's going horribly for him and destroying his company and all this no, stuff. No, he, he lost that specifically. That he, oh like no, you're saying at the time, yeah, like it's all going horribly for him. And then while that's all oh, that right. happening, like I encounter multiple people that are closer to me than I'd like that, uh, that still think that he's telling the truth. And I don't even know if they know about who he is. Like, like I don't know if they just reached him. Yeah, that's I, I the scary. I don't, I don't know if they're that's getting it from him or if they're just getting like the fucking like, like the shock waves of it rippling through the internet and people believing it and so on. But it's like the fact that people still were like, "Oh yeah, David Hogg's like a paid actor and blah 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 blah." And I'm like, "I, oh my god," uh, and like the, and like reliably, these people won't even look into it, even a little bit. Of course, yeah, they, not even the tiniest bit. Just, well, they don't need the, to because they just post they, stuff that supports their ideology and in this case it's because they're uh they're like nra members and stuff like that and this stuff is like that this that, that, that all school shootings are inconvenient to the narrative of being pro-gun so instead of like having to deal with that dissonance and rationalize it and figure out what you want to do with that information it's easier just to like invent a reality where the bad thing about your ideology just doesn't exist at all and that's why it's really popular to think that mass shootings aren't real like it's very concrete why that's a popular thought process it's the same thing as global warming or climate change is that it's way easier just to pretend the problem isn't real because then life's literally easier and happier because the problem doesn't exist (laughs) we my morality is uncomplicated uh, yeah, absolutely. It's the, the pro- I think that the and, and the, what, the scariest aspect for me as as a non-American is that that sort of stuff goes outside of your country and it, yep. it lasts for decades. The implications yep. of of the conspiracy so theorists the, in the seventies are still felt right now, and 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 it trains people to not understand the basic premises of scientific thought. Just how do you know that you're right or could be wrong? How do you, people in general don't, are not taught that in school? They don't they don't internalize it because it's, it's generally it's They're difficult. Use the you know, coronavirus science. vaccine to inject us with Bill Gates chips, like when, like it's, networks. when it's objectively proven They're gonna 4G that G our our hearts. <laughs> it, when it's objectively proven that the the coronavirus is cannot be a man made virus because of, it's not the, uh, similar to any other virus known to us. It's it's like disproven. That theory, disproven. That's how science works. You disprove a theory and then people still run away with it and still believe to it, it, it to this day. 
And it's just like, you can't... You, what, well, my, my take is... Alpha wolves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, the girl, My take like, is I just, mean, I, 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 I build... I build a sort of personal resentment, honestly, but I need to compartmentalize that with the people that I deal with on a personal basis that that just either I rationalize it in my head that they don't know better and maybe one day they will or they just can't be helped. Yeah, I, like ideology is one thing and can be deeply frustrating, but people just yeah. being wrong about what is real is like yeah. a That's, deeply yeah. infuriating life experience. And the worst part yeah. is that it's like, half the people around you just overtly believe in things that aren't even slightly real and you just have to like contain yourself from screaming sometimes because it's just like you just yeah you, know, you just learn to just like bite your tongue because you're like i the, I, I literally can't fix them and i have at to the get end through of the day whatever the fuck today is <laughs> and that's, and that's yeah. the thing, christmas like everybody you, it, uh, <laughs> and that's the thing is like i don't i again i don't have a problem if you want like I'm, I'm more than happy to get into a discussion about how to approach a situation. If you don't think that we should fund uh, fucking social services, that's fine. We can discuss about that matter. But you can't like turn around and tell me that social services were made by Obama to like orchestrate a coup against the fucking Christian religion. Yeah. yeah. Like, what or the when fuck, someone dude, thinks I'm that not, Planned Parenthood yeah. is an attempt to like euthanize or sterilize black people, and you're like, yeah. Oh like, fuck. You're can one, we like, can we you, talk about that though? What do you do? Like, what do you? You like, can't just you can't talk these people down. You have to like think hammer it, them in the it, head. You have I mean, to be like, no, I mean, that, that no, one's these Project are bad. Veritas's <laughs> fault because that's they just invent lies. I don't lies. think people but believe it's that. Not, but it's not those Project are people who would, fault. It's it's all it's all of our faults for not strangling that fucking thought out <laughs> yeah. of our family members. With well, but like I don't know. Yeah, but it's, it's Project Veritas's fault for 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 creating and spreading that lie. And but it's, and it's reached me multiple but, times. Like people believe that about Planned Parenthood, Planned Planned Parenthood now. And I'm like, what the fuck? We can't even argue about the things that are real. <laughs> are you, my God, I have to America's, deal with the America's most baffling number one, lies now. America's number one export is garbage. And that's not that's not a lie. That's it's literally true. The number one thing that we export in this country is garbage. Yep, physical um, and and like both, thought. <laughs> yeah, physical and thought. And so. What I have to say uh, regarding the question to the person is, what, how do you think about social services in the United States? If our greatest export is garbage, what do you think our country's filled with? That is the <laughs> answer to the question about social services. We can't have oh, social right. services we because we question. have only <laughs> fucking garbage in this country, and we can't even sift through it to find the people we need to give social services to because there's too much fucking garbage. Like, God, please it's, take the garbage away. <laughs> it's <Stop>. a... <laughs> It's a system of incentives for for the government who wants to not, you know, not spend as much money as possible. Uh, and but at the same time, it's a mentality uh, issue. My my personal like here in Portugal, social ser services like even the term doesn't apply quite as much because it's a little bit more generalized. Um, there isn't a, like the notion of somebody losing their kid because of because of. Uh, of them not taking care of them is just not a, a thing in general or even in popular culture like even in tv series or anything uh like seeing that in a in a i remember being a kid and seeing that in the sims i was like because you know in the sims if you, your kid goes cr keeps crying for more than a few hours in comes the social services and they take the kid away and i'm like that's that's a thing oh my god um it's it's because, not really it's a huge problem that social services doesn't have the authority or the money or the ability to take children out of actual bad homes so a lot of children in this country just get co completely and utterly abused constantly because we can't fund anything to protect them but but if they're not born yet we'll fucking save their fucking life i swear to god if that unborn after baby <laughs> dies we will fucking throw this country down a fucking staircase once they're born though throw them in a fucking throw them down a staircase because i don't give <laughs> shit once they're alive you can so my my experience that my first experience with social services was uh, having colleagues in school in like primary school and stuff who didn't have to pay for their um for their lunch and um and uh and and for like uh, snacks or whatever in a cafeteria because they had they 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 were in families that didn't meet a certain threshold and so they were given uh, you know assistance basically. Uh, and there's like a very clear delineation as a kid when you know that like you need to bring your ho your money 
into into school to pay for it and then your friend doesn't because he's poor and you like it, it's not called like that but it is that and you know also you also know the intersection as a kid this is talking to you because it's reality you know the intersection between them being poor and them having lower grades because obviously you know that there's that intersection and th this only th th that right there i think is responsible for a lot of people at least here in portugal um to it's responsible for a lot of people just to see so being dependent on the state and be, being need to have money given to them for support as a bad thing because you know the bad kids in school the ones that didn't have good grades they they had that so you know it must be bad and it's so easily fixed just don't have any kids have to pay for lunch because that's just bad as well just give them free lunch because why why are why are you spending why are, like the thing is the, the state pays part of the lunch even for for every kid basically because it's very very little that you pay here or at least it used to be very little that you'd pay for lunch as a kid but I, you still had to pay so it's like it's it's double it doesn't make any sense that it worked I've never like that bought, i've never bought a school lunch my mom told me if i wanted to eat food i had to get up make a sandwich and pack it we always had the materials to make food at home, but I had to do it if I wanted to eat. And so I would just make my own sandwich, put it in a stupid Ziploc bag, put it in a fucking bag. That was one of the ways that I knew I was like in a good place like, in life later on. I was like, oh, I guess I grew up pretty easy is the fact that I, I yeah, never, I, I literally I, never went in a cafeteria in school. Yeah, like, I, 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 hmm. I went into cafeterias to eat with my poor friends. Like that was the only time I went. That, that is part so of it's even like that, more because like, 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 cafeteers are definitely it's even more there obvious, to like yeah. establish a base level of like yes, the children are eating. But it's even more <laughs> obvious in your case the, the the distinction between the different groups. There, I you mean, there kids, is class people... difference in school. Oh, like yeah. it's noticeable. Oh, yeah, it's just you don't you just don't rec you don't know how to recognize it yet. But like there, yeah. you can no, no, you but can when you feel in a number of ways. About, what class people made, are in school and it's really strange I, yeah i made a lot of my friends because i would uh, like i just brought extra oreos to school and apparently like nobody could eat oreos at school because they couldn't afford it and it was like oh, here's some oreos, oreos are expensive no, no, yeah, they're not. Was, they're, they are super expensive because well, you're, you're in a special situation where like oh. you can't make a living as a child so it's yeah. like it's just yeah. the station your parents are in and like how much they can support you or or choose to give you stuff and so on and like you and there's the gaps of like people that like can't afford basic school supplies and need to eat in the cafeteria every day and so on and so for yeah. some people horrifyingly it's, that's like their one meal because they're not eating at home yeah and like the, and like you're not even fully aware of that stuff and in many cases anything that makes you look different was just the reason to bully you back then which is even more yeah, horrifying. I see that I I remember like very young before like fourth grade like from a, a kindergarten to fourth grade i uh i was very poor because it was just me and my mom and uh and my sister and so we were like really poor and all i had so like on lunch i would basically take uh like a snack of some kind you know like something like an actual snack not a sandwich but like a snacky food like a fruit roll-up or something and that would be my lunch and I would just spend the rest of my lunch like sitting in a corner playing Game Gear. Uh, and then like once I once my mom got remarried and then we went to like uh, I, like from fifth grade onward, then I had my own lunch that I made myself. But like I didn't I didn't interact. I didn't notice there was like this disparity in class because I distracted myself with something else. And so by the time the Game like, Gear. It was, yeah, and like <laughs> eating lunch was I, I saw eating lunch as like a waste of time. Where it's like, well, it's this important. Is, this is good. This is good playtime. Like, I don't want to. It's waste important this. for me to point out that your lunch is not the same as my lunch because it, it it it's a very it's a much smaller uh, meal for for you Americans as far as I'm aware. Like, just like if you want that's, to bring lunch, that's unusual. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like we us is having us, us having less of a meal ever. Yeah, how, in much, wait, how much time do you get? How much time do you get to eat lunch at school? An it's hour. Like the, we're always, we're yeah, the, we get we're an hour. The, we're always the famous like supersized portion. So the idea that we have a smaller lunch is interesting. Yeah, but the, in school, like uh, the normal lunch would be like uh, maybe a little bit of like a hundred grams of of meat and rice and potatoes and and a salad, and then you have the soup. Oh no, we got the uh, we got the so there was a there's a huge maximum security prison uh, right next to the elementary school. Uh, that I that both of us went. I just, to. I just googled high school uh, high school lunch, and it does look like prison food. And it is the same food, actually. It's the same let me, truck let me actually that, look de it up. Uh, that delivers the uh, 
So the, the food, the, the food truck that would, del- well, at least in elementary school, the truck that would deliver our food for our elementary school was the same truck that went across the street to deliver the same lunches to the prisoners. Um, I know that because the guy, I, I used to live in a court, uh, or in the court I lived in, the guy at the end of it was a security guard at the prison. And, uh, and he was mad and complained to the PTA because his daughter was eating the same lunch that prisoners were eating. And he didn't mm. think that was uh, he didn't think that was acceptable. And the school was like, "What else? We can't afford anything else." So like, but yeah, and that's the thing. Like in the U.S., there's the other problem where the money that schools have is di- directly dependent on the taxing of the people around the area. So rich people hey, will hey, get better. Hey, we had box tops. All right, my school got a lot of box tops. We had we were rolling in money. All right, googling high Cookies. school lunches, it's really worrying how many of them have a cup of soda in them. Well, yeah, yeah. gotta have that. Oh, oh no! It's also a that lot last... of them. If you well, notice, because... a lot of them have the like it's the because... shitty meat too. It's because those companies like infiltrated schools and as a profit thing. Yeah, and so it's like let's give kids soda every day as the mandatory lunch as opposed to like anything else it's like i well, the that's picture, not a good start for life the picture that you posted on our private thing keith is uh similar to what we would eat here in europe at least it, here in portugal like, it be, like it's one thing when it's your personal mistake but it's another thing when the fucking school mandate food is like that and you're like oh what are you doing what are you doing to them well you always had the option when you got school lunches you had the option of getting milk orange juice soda or water are you sure uh, it's not yes. an option for kids yes. you yeah, will it get it is an option no it is an no, option. no no what i mean is no it's like, not an option because yeah. the kids will go for the sugar obviously yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but i'm saying that like it's not as if it's not as if schools were like all right kids you get soda that's just, that's it yeah kids, that's just kids don't, the kids beginning don't have impulse control that's just the beginning of the the like that's making the, sure you know what personal responsibility it's just like <laughs> personal responsibility, baby. We're gonna make a system where it's gonna be almost impossible for you not to be a bees. There's, there's a also horrible, of... self-contradictory, like system here where they're in this institution to teach them how to be a person, but also make responsible choices of, with your meal. It's like what? No, yeah, feed them right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You, you did that to and them. Also, sugar is addicting. So and don't it's, no it's, chocolate it's, milk. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I had chocolate milk when I was a kid in school. In, I, in the primary school it's so funny i got to so like i only ate lunches at school through uh, there shouldn't be soda school. until college <laughs> like after after elementary school i stopped eating at school completely and so it was like a weird it was such a weird experience to, it's Would like you going just go to a the whole day I, without eating anything yeah i just didn't need to eat i didn't i did that as well uh, in, uh, like from I would pack my own lunch. so yeah well that's the thing is like i didn't i didn't want to eat at school and so i just didn't eat all day so i would go like i would i wouldn't even eat breakfast i would just come home and eat dinner there was definitely a chunk uh, of school where it was literally just a ramen packet that was in my backpack and i would just eat like, the, the dry noodles like it's like a chi- giant my chips God. <laughs> it's weird because like when you when you go to school and there's like the you know you get a mandated lunch time for an hour uh when you don't eat there's a difference between like i can't afford lunch and i'm not gonna you know like i'm not gonna eat or i'm gonna eat very small amounts uh, versus like I don't actively take part in this consumption of food like there's a weird disconnect there uh, that a lot of people I noticed that a lot of people would spend their lunches sitting at tables eating and conversing with each other because that's yeah at, the social that's activity. obvious it yeah is, the social yeah, lunch time. <laughs> uh, that is but what like, that the only thing that period's really for yeah I would and take so, the money my parents gave gave me I would go and I just bucket it so I could buy a computer later Whoa, I, that's a lot of lunch. I, it was. I took, it was all like three years, basically. Jesus. Yeah, I didn't I, have lunch all through my yeah. The I, I just did child 70. labor. I also did that, but that was later. Yeah. Like I could, I could, oh. uh, I could work. I could earn an allowance by like volunteering to work at my dad's business. Oh, and it, it was I like did. Doing, it was like doing chores, but we had, had hourly pay, so it was kind of just illegal <laughs> I, yeah i did i did do that i did uh child labor uh when i was younger at like a coffee shop so i could afford uh drink uh master system games but i probably worked uh, at an upholstery shop since i was like 13 but after that after that it was mostly i just did things i did stupid stunts that my stepfather thought would cause me a lot of pain and then he would buy me a game if i survived it and 
<laughs> that that's how I got a lot of my good N64 games, like Banjo Kazooie and stuff. What? Are so you like breaking I had your to, arm? Well, no. So like, no, I've never broken anything. So like Banjo Kazooie, the only way I got it was my father was going to drive the boat as fast as possible while pulling me on a weight board, and I had to <laughs> beef out on the weight board. So I had to like, fa- like basically, I had to hit the water as fast as possible. Uh, and that was the incentive to like. He get just a game. wanted to hurt you. Um, Jesus. And I was like, "Yeah, I'll do that. I'll like. It doesn't matter to me." So they were both in the no know, broken bones as fast club. As possible, then you just beef it into the water and take a. It hurts for a little bit, and then you get a game at the end. Get oh, a game. Yeah. I muted myself. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, oh. but uh, God damn you, was, Overwatch hotkeys. But that was the. That <laughs> was the <laughs> we're both in the no broken bones club. <laughs> We can subscribe yeah, to the yeah, one. Never, we can both subscribe to the one Reddit until tragically we must admit that our I've, time has come. I've never, I also believe I have never, never broken done anything. It. Yeah. Milk I memes. I, I've never. I, I've never. I don't drink milk. I don't drink milk at all. I don't know how no. the hell I don't break bones. I stopped that's drinking not, milk. That's as not well. even really how that works anyway. No, but, but I'm uh, saying like I don't do anything. That's uh. Was it no like broken bones D. Reddit? R slash no broken bones. There's like some kind of it's, no broken bones, like yeah, never broken. I'm sure the, yeah, never broken a bone on Reddit, and then like there's all, and like the the post will have to like there's a bunch of milk memes I think, and then every now and then it'll be like like sorry guys, I gotta go. Yeah, it's like <laughs> people get ex, people have to make their farewell post when they uh, <clears throat> when they broke when something, they break, break bone. something, and like it's a, it's actually like I think most of the posts are basically just broken bones of people like saying farewell to the Reddit because they're no longer in the no broken bones <laughs> club, and then just mil- then just milk memes. That's oh, just no. like the whole thing. Oh god, I, I oh god, I'm scrolling through this and I hate it. It's a lot of X-rays of like pulverized fingers and shit. Oh no. Yeah, fingers <laughs> are what I. Th- if I broke anything, it was a, a foot toe. I, I, don't, I broke my nose playing soccer, but that's not a bone. Nope, it's cartilage. Oh some some teacher, I mean, some uh, some parent of some other kid. So I was taller than average. Well, I am, but I was taller than average early at, in soccer. And so I ran straight into somebody, and their stupid giant forehead broke my nose. Uh, <laughs> and and some yeah. parent just like set my nose right there, and I don't think I ever went to a doctor. Oh, oh uh, no! And I, think I just, and I think I just went on with my no, life. No, that's and that's so my, my nose that's is how like, you do it. My nose is like crooked a little bit, or specifically like the uh, was it is that is that the not the bridge the uh, the skin between your nostrils like that layer that that middle chunk like there's like a there's a, it turns <laughs> it's yeah. like the, my nose doesn't look crooked but the bottom of my nose isn't like that bridge that 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 thing between the nostrils isn't straight and is that that's either because my nose is crooked or like it's squished a little bit or something so it's it maybe it's supposed to stick out more now and it doesn't it's like my, my thanks my me when i was like 9 or whatever <laughs> Sounds awful. I hate all of that. Yep. My dad has a sort of crooked nose because he wipes his nose in a certain direction. <laughs> That's all his life. He just wiped his nose <laughs> in a certain way. He's told me like th- this years ago and I, I, yeah, that's just the thing. His nose is sort of sideways. He like forcefully does like a swipe to wipe his nose in like one yeah. strong motion with no like, no like rubbing or like cleaning it's just like one no he's, he's a very <laughs> he weird leaves person. it and there's probably like just a fucking like tendril of snot no 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 <laughs> it's very it's like a very procedural he hasn't done it recently i he just like how, lost could, you, the how could you possibly do a good job in in like a weird no 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 he does the trumpet that thing like fucks up your nose he does uh, the trumpet thing before right not very no, loud he, noise oh, did he do the thing where he covers a nostril and then like fucking like trebuchets no, 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 out he, a he's shot got like a snot. handkerchief you know, like the handkerchief, you know? Yeah, those people like he horrify does it on the... me. Yeah. Like, you just, like, create, like, a... Inside of their... Head. It's like a it's like a Pokemon attack. <laughs> like, you just, yeah. like, Snot create shots. a projectile and just send it out instantly. I'm like, ah. We, we yep. can't be friends anymore. I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This is a weird conversation. It's I not. just blow my nose like a normal person. Do you not make a loud noise when you blow your nose? If if it's really clogged, maybe, but like not yeah. by default. I don't like default. So you're not like my like, dad. <laughs> so like, a, like, yeah, my dad will. It's that that noise that you just made. It's just that every yeah. time. No, I just. You're, 
if usually you're, that's we're not ever good recording, for you. You're not supposed yeah, I, to do that know, because yeah. your body just goes like, ha ha, nice try, and just refills that entire amount of snot you just got rid of. Yeah. You're supposed to like use the Kleenex to wipe out the bits in your nose. God damn it, there's a new spam bot. Now they say, yeah, I am alone, smiling heart face crying emoji. Well, smiling heart face crying emoji. Yeah, time blocked. to add that spam to the thing. Because I was like, I was I like, okay. do that. Uh, I saw that first. Like, that's, has... a that's a weird post. But then there's two of them back to back by different accounts. I'm like, fuck. Twitch has that problem <laughs> right now where there's a there's a huge spam bot uh, thing going on where it's like get big followers dot com or whatever. And uh, and it's like this exact same copy paste. And I've reported multiple accounts like, oh, this is Same. spam. This is yep. a spam. And I, I got to the point where I was like, okay, well, they're not going to do anything about it. So I just added the, that word because it's always that same big follows in one conjoined word and then dot yep. com separately. So I've just added both of them as separate things you're not allowed to post. And it's like, well, easy because no one's allowed to post actual links on my I probably anyways. should do that as well. And I'm just going to block this word that you're using because it's the same website. It's not like you're, you know. Like you're, and no matter what, you're trying to get around by saying, "Here's a website dot com," and so it's like, well, if I get rid of dot com, you can't fucking ever post this again. So, bye. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 YouTube think... thankfully blocks links by default, so the strategy is to try to post like suggestive posts by lo by suggestive looking accounts so that people click on your account. But now, I think they're getting better about it in certain ways because it seems like, among other things, like they're like their avatars aren't getting approved so i'm getting all these like suggestive looking posts by question marks or like just are we not a question mark <laughs> but just like a, it's just like a letter like in like normal posts like accounts oh, yeah, they the, don't have oh, an yeah, avatar yeah so it's like the whole point of it isn't working it's just like a weird post by a fucking like r and it's like k no one can, no one's gonna be like oh god i'll check on her profile see what she looks like it's like because it's she doesn't even have an avatar now the hypothetical yeah. irritating person uh it's just, it's just a, a a constant weapons race, basically. Yep. All right. I, f I, f I added it to my filter. I had to find it. I haven't added it to my filter for a while. <laughs> so that uh, was. Is... So going back to the school lunch thing, that was basically my first, but it wasn't my last uh, up until now, anyway. Uh, experience with social social services. Um, my my mother needed care in the, the for a while, like a year or two. And um, so we had to pay like a, a care home and normally the prices would be like 500, even a thousand a month because, you know, there's nurses and there's a bunch of processes go on. And it was, it's a daytime, it's a, a day center basically. Yeah. And uh, the vast majority of it was uh, just paid by the state. And that's, I think that's how it works a lot here. It's just part of it is paid by people and ma the vast majority is paid by the government and by the state. So even for medicine and stuff like that, like that would be, she would take medicine that costs hundreds and hundreds of uh, euros just on a single pill. And we'd pay like 10 cents for a bottle or something just because, uh, yeah. you know, uh, rare diseases and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's well, the fair thing to, to do. That's supposed to be normal er like, so that's the, that's like a middle, that's, that is a compromise ground. That's when you compromise, mm -hmm. like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to foot the bill a hundred percent, but I'm willing to subsidize certain industries uh, of medical coverage. You know, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay for people to, you know, to, who are ill to stay in a home, but I'm willing to like make it so you only pay 150 bucks a month or something. You know, like something like that. Where, there's an extra, there's an extra benefit to that though. Because every medicine goes through the Portuguese government and the Ministry of, of Health, like every, not every medicine maybe, but specifically in, in disease treatment, um, it's the government directly that does the the haggling sort of situation going with the pharm pharmaceuticals, Yeah, which means that they have, uh, it's better for them than just the individual care uh, providers, the hospitals and whatnot. So that, that, I think that's how German does it as well. I think our system is largely similar to theirs, um, but not like, for example, the UK, w who has, I think everything is is nationalized. I'm not 100 percent sure in regards to uh, like you, you basically are given the medicine for free because you pay for it with it, your taxes. Wow. It's it, yeah. I think it's the same in Canada as well. What a crime. 
It's just people thing deserve is, it's horrified cheaper when to... they find out that like it's like cheaper how that America way. works and how we're like we yeah. already we're already living in cyberpunk. Like yeah. just stuff that I... like it really makes you question things. Where you're like, oh god, other countries just don't have like like when other countries like Americans pay for ambulance rides. <laughs> Like, yeah, no. right. not only here's a fun one. Not only do we pay for ambulance rides, some states are don't have any more. We're out of room what? for ambulances. We've we've ran out. You can't even call an ambulance now. Uh, we're no way. Yeah, some counties are so bogged down due to COVID, you can't call an ambulance because the oh yeah, that's the, because of the okay. Yeah, that's yes. the whole premise of flattening the curve yeah. was the fact that like but, if we all just I'm fucking saying, like, mouth kiss and get COVID all at once, then it's like. The country so, shuts down so, and healthcare work stops working for everybody. For yeah, but I'm everything. saying like even at the point like you know even if you could afford a, a, a an ambulance like you you already passed the first hard hurdle which is oh god I can afford an ambulance you call it's like we have don't we don't have any ambulances it's like what <laughs> what the fuck is this country <laughs> we just spent seven hundred billion dollars on fucking military but we don't have enough hospitals for people what the fuck <laughs> like, yeah and then you, and then you remember that we spend more on healthcare per capita than basically anyone else and in, for what for <laughs> in many what? cases exactly. like what are we accomplishing turn down well you're getting, for what <laughs> what are you accomplishing you're giving so much money to the pharmaceuticals buy stock in pharmaceuticals they're constantly Hooray. going up yeah they're that's going what you're up accomplishing have, not even there's kidding. no regulation on keeping those fucking things in line because that would be just, communism no, communism is when everyone gets the same fucking cow. That's what communism no, is. We don't have communism. Not, we can't have communism. Not. It's a system that literally fucking could never exist in this fucking country. There are 50 yeah, states who cannot include also, communism in this country. Like, that's I hate true, that. but I hate also it's not like, communism, what you're saying. Oh, no. It's like, co- no, but I'm saying, like, you couldn't... I'm just you being facetious when I... You, it would be a fucking... It would be harder to instill communism in this country than it would be to, di- like, wipe out the human race. Like, it would be easier to just extinct humanity than it would be to create communism in the United States. Like, you can't do I it. I think you overestimate the power of brainwashing. No, that, that's the thing, is you can't because it requires people to collaborate in communism. Communism doesn't work uh, with, with you so, selfishness. You can't instill selfish, self, uh, selflessness in the United States. It's not humanly possible. You have it's to something... build a system that, like... You have to build a system that accounts for people being the worst humans on the planet. And, like, the only system that does it properly is capitalism. It's the only one that works. It's, yeah. It's something that I I grew up uh, hearing about Portugal and and just our hospitality, I believe, is the word that translates. um, That people who come from abroad and come here for a vacation or something, and just they're they're very surprised about our hospitality and whatnot. And I think it's it's like it was always touted, but you know, by just media here in Portugal as 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 sort of in our culture and just, just the, the sort of people that we are as a as a country. Uh, but I never really understood that until I started dealing with people from outside from outside of our country and starting to re- really realize um, the differences in culture and how that shows. It's not really necessarily about that other people are not hospitable and are and just bad or mean. It's just that there's. There's aspects to the culture of each country, and I think, and I suppose in the U.S. it's not just the U.S. as a whole. I'm sure that different states have different cultures as well in regards to just the the attitude of, of towards each other. But it, it, like what you say there, I I can't say that I have any idea how that is, but I also can absolutely understand that the culture of a country is very hard to change. Yeah, it. I don't know. It, it just. Uh, like you said, it's sometimes it's like you just want to scream when you see people throwing their heads into this weird bag of shit. And you're like, how did you, how are you in this? Like, how do you not understand that this is all made up? Like, they're. Well, the tricks to a lot of our bad situations is convincing ourselves that they were good all along. Yes, and actually yes. taking pride in why the sh- the system's bad, and then you just it's, really get entrenched. <laughs> it's embarrassing, though. Like it's embarrassing to look at other countries and see things that is so just basic, just the most bare bones possible thing, like eye and like eye coverage, like I like having. There was a separate medical plan for dental and eye coverage and health. 
You have to pay three different companies. Wait, for that. even on the private? Yes. War- yes, what? on a private site, you have to pay three different companies <laughs> to deal with eyes for your fucking teeth and for your fucking health. What the fuck? How did you My fuck God. this up? I didn't know that, that. Could you imagine if, in order to have a car, you had to pay okay. three different the, companies yeah. to have a to like get a license? You had a joke. Yeah. It's a joke because you do. You have to pay the government, and you have to pay an insurance company, and you have to pay a fucking different company if you don't own the car outright. I was so going to say, like, you, I was gonna say you buy the car from car. one source and the insurance from a different source, but then you're like all of your licenses from a third source. <laughs> It's, it's yeah, that's fucking and your registration so and smog check because, and all the other stuff. Because somebody went along and threw this amazing little fucking turd on everyone's doorstep called capitalism, free marketplace. It will sort itself out. And someone was like, "But I but think aren't some of these like like things that are important to not be complicated just, and um, inefficient so that for a better society?" And someone was like, "That doesn't sound like free market." <laughs> it's like <laughs> just going back to what you said right. just now, which is uh, what uh, Keith said about. Uh, it actually, you actually defend it after, it, like, it, not only is it, not only don't you realize that it's bad, but you also take pride in it. There, a part of that, I feel, and it's what I was saying before about the the myth of personal responsibility. It's it's the blaming of the others. Like people objectively look at the systems that it, that are in place and and see that it doesn't work for some people, and instead of trying to be critical about the system they're critical about the people and say oh they just they're bad the, you they're, yeah, they don't, if you're they in don't a bad a job, place they're it's because bad. of a moral failing and it's it, it that even works with health which is unbelievable to me but i think yeah no all that's that what our worlds to. was parodying where yeah, all the people yeah. that are in that are in the sick ward in uh in edgewater like they were they were all convinced that the reason they're sick is because of their own personal moral failings yeah like that's how like society works and them. it's like all yeah. of that is one to one like parody of elements of American culture, uh, and a lot of people are unable to it, actually internalize any of that. It's it's weird, and I it's it's weirder when you it's weirder when you discuss. So here's the here's the fun part is when you try and discuss these things with people uh, who like who who've just lived this life. Like uh, like if I discuss this like the healthcare thing, if I discuss that with my grandparents, they're like. That's how it's always been. That doesn't make it good. Like, that doesn't mean it's a good system. Like, you didn't want to change that? And it's like, well, that's how it's supposed to be. It's like, no, no, what? It's, doesn't it suck to do that? And it's like, well, yeah. Then fucking fix it. Get your fucking ass out there and fix it. I think like, it's people just resign themselves to like, they are, well, yeah. th- there's no way to change the system. And it's like, no, there is a way to change the system. What are you? Change it. Like, it, how Why? do you think it got here? It it didn't just come into existence in a failed state. It was fine until someone broke it, and then you never fix the broken. Like, what I uh, hear on my side uh, that is similar to that is um, spe- specifically regarding the COVID nineteen response of Portugal. Like my my early take, and it's still the same take, is just a little bit late now. My early take was that the government should basically pay people to shut down for t- two or two months. And save the money that they now have wasted all for all the seven months or eight months after the pandemic started, um, and they should pay people to be able to shut down because there's there's a large a lot of part of the population that can't just you know here in Portugal we have a lot of service jobs that that you know is it, it's just about moving about a bunch uh, all over the place especially in the north which is the part of the country that is most affected by COVID, um, and I would talk to people about this and a lot of well. Two people that the, the of the three that I talked uh, with about this, they would say they said the same thing to me, which is they're never going to do that. The government is never going to do that, and I'm like, that's not what I'm saying. And it's the similar, it's similar to what you're saying because they're just resigned to not even defending that as a possibility because they know the government isn't going to do that. Which they're right, obviously they, they're right. The government was never going to do it. But the, oh, the, I mean, with that attitude, yeah, they're not going to do no, anything because no. they don't have any reason. But to. they just resigned themselves to it they, instead of saying they they're not, but they should. That doesn't, you know, what what? Just because they're just because we we are controlled by billionaires and 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 they and they control the stocks and they con- they control the direction of huge in- industries like the oil industry and and wars and whatnot. Just because of all of that doesn't mean that we can't criticize things. And just because we can't say that the the West is, is has a problem or rather just because we can't fix 
from today to tomorrow anyway, the, the healthcare system in the US or anywhere really, just it doesn't mean that we it doesn't mean that we need to resign ourselves to that. Even if, even though it can be impossible and it likely is in certain circumstances under certain under certain you know, I mean, that's the thing though, is I don't think I, I I don't understand how anything can be impossible. It's only impossible until it's done, basically. And like, yeah, I, it can it can nothing, seem hopeless, but nothing is impossible. Uh, yeah, that too. we just don't know how to get there yet, and no, not knowing how to get there yet doesn't mean we we don't try. Like, yeah, going to the moon a- is technically the most impossible fucking task of anybody on the goddamn planet for like hundreds and thousands of years. And if you asked anybody, just like we're gonna go to the moon, it's like how the fuck? No, no, you're fucking not. No one can go to the moon. No one even leaves a stupid rock. And then somehow some guy was like, "I made a dumb box, and we can go to the moon now." It, wow, but that was impossible. Yeah. I can't believe this guy just defied all all logic and reason and and managed yeah, the, to make the we can person. do anything optimism really got wrung out of us after that like yeah apparently yeah <laughs> no, the, but we got to I the think, moon and we were like oh i guess that's the best we can ever do all I right think we'll also we can never anything. do no. that again yeah like I think we can never do that about, again like i think that's less about uh attitude and more about the fact that the market just completely stifled the vast majority of technological innovation since the well, 70s to be fair, Keith, and it, we we got to the moon, and then the guy who had st- who inspired us to get to the moon got shot in the head. So we kind of lost a lot of <laughs> inspirational. It just, yeah, uh, it was kind of burned. That, that, that went, bummed went somebody it. out. Yeah, yeah, that, that that bummed the U.S. out for like yeah a hundred years, and we just haven't recovered from it. But like, but even to think that that the differences of technological innovation and even it's not even just technological inventions, but also how it affects the life of people. Compare the 20s, the 1920s with the 1970s and see the huge difference in innovation. That's the high of the high. When I say high, I mean like sort of the drug high that that a lot of genres were created, like post-apocalypse, uh, post-apocalyptic um, fiction genre is based off of that. Uh, superheroes are based off of that. Cyberpunk is based off of that. A lot but- of fiction that we still work with today, just on the assumption that we are just going to keep innovating a lot. Because, like, you know, from the 20s to the 70s, the innovation was enormous. But look but, at the compare now the 1970s to today and see how little difference there is. No, there, that's the problem. There's so much difference. The world there has isn't. changed. Oh, yes, there is. The world has like cataclysm, cataclysmically changed itself dramatically since In the terms 70s. of technology? In terms of technology? Absolutely. There's literally, I have a stupid thing that's. I mean, smartphones about, and social media have literally reorganized society. S- smartphones well, yeah, are, are literally capable of doing something that it took entire buildings the size of a fucking city to do. For like, sure. But that's, like, that's the 20s and the 80s. Great. The, the 20s and the 70s have the cars. They have the washing machines. They have airplanes. And we have, have interconnectability. Have, I can call television. a fucking asshole on the other side of the planet, and we can send... They have that can, in the 70s. Not the, no, not the way that we have it now. I can literally <laughs> no, send yeah, him an application that can now. alter the course of history by destroying the stock market <laughs> no, no. in less than fucking 30 seconds, and you're telling me saying... we can't figure out healthcare? How the fuck did this happen? <laughs> Where the, we I'm can saying... literally devastate the... I can nuke this fucking nation from my fucking... Fucking car- like from my like seat right now, I can destroy this entire planet faster. What I'm saying than any time ever. <laughs> I, what I'm saying, I can ride my bike with no handlebars. <laughs> what I'm saying is that it, the difference is not the same. We are we we are <laughs> we, uh, the last fifteen years, the last fifty years. I love rather, that the sentence is magic. The last fifty years have have been us humans. The, the world has the been changed is- so dramatically. But it's not. I, I do you it's, agree that it's the same? That it's like the, the same. No, that it's exponential. Yes. Yes. It I is. Don't, I don't agree with I, it. The, the, we are we are so interconnected. It's disgusting. That's is, one aspect. No, that's the biggest aspect. That's been the hugest fucking hurdle for humanity sure, has for ever sure. had. Is like, hey, sure. Japan, can you send us supplies? And we're like, I'll get back to you in fucking years. Because how do you get over there? You have to boat your for fucking sure. dumb ass, and you have to hope you speak fucking Japanese. You have to hope the fucking government hasn't changed in the year that you've been sailing over there. <laughs> you have to fucking hope you sail fucking back, and your government hasn't changed in the year that you sailed fucking back from the Japan. No, 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 you you're compa- you're the, not, Like, holy you're fucking not shit, I can call up Japan right now and go, hey, fuck you, yeah. hang up the phone, and nothing has Look, changed. He is That's right. amazing. He, he has read like, the version you're talking about is not the 70s. <laughs> 
Yeah. Like, you're, you're, not, talking, you're, not you're talking about like the 1870s. In the 70s. Like the 1870s. <laughs> Yeah. In this, so in the 70s, in order to get things done, we would have to collaborate with hundreds and thousands of people in order to make one small minute change in a, in a fucking system. We can they do went that to the in moon, a week. Andrew. Like, we haven't been they, able to make a, an engine in the went, size of the Saturn V. They since. went to the moon without a computer. They didn't go they with did a computer. Computers. No, they didn't. They didn't have a fucking computer. They had a literal fucking... No, they had a Rube Goldberg machine. That's they all they did fucking well, had. Yes. But That's they had all computers. It was. The literal fucking computers. computer in fucking heavy quotes <laughs> that sent the man to the moon is a Rube Goldberg machine held together by fucking magnets. That's what it. I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is that the level of like what you're. Do you think cars have evolved a lot in, in, Colonel, over the last? Cars drive themselves now. We have fucking self-driving cars. <laughs> like we are, we have rockets that self-land. We don't have. We have. We fucking don't so, have self-driving yes, cars. We They're have so self-driving limited. cars. It does just because so it's not limited. open in the fucking consumer level doesn't mean we don't have cars that drive themselves. We have rockets that land themselves. We have fucking we have rovers that we control on Earth living on Mars. What the fuck? Like the world now has imagine, changed so dramatically in fucking so much time. And you know what's so sad? I don't think is that it has. all the things that matter can't change because we can't figure out how. I, well, I don't, uh, there's no way we can't do it. I'm like, you put a fucking robot on Mars that you can control with your <laughs> shitty Xbox 360 controller on fucking NASA ground. Like, how the fuck can you not just fix this stupid, basic ass elementary fucking healthcare problem? It's so dumb, fucking simple. And someone's like, I think like, it's the symptoms oh, know, of the man. same. Maybe it's rubber the same bands. Thing. Like, <laughs> it's connected. I think it's connected. I think it's. No, it's we it's basically. Not connected. It's fucking. It's. Governments don't work in a world where we are interconnected. It's that, not it, it governments work though. That way anymore. You're trying like, to solve. You're, you're trying to solve healthcare with the same things that put the that put the that, that make the, the the internet go around. You know what I mean? You're, it's Here, the, no. The, here's the for, thing: you, is like how. So I want to know. I want to know exactly who is voting against what in bills. You do can know I that. do? Can I? Can I do? Do I know that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I get we to know, know exactly. We know the vote totals. So we we know the vote totals. Cool, easy. That was a that was a really <laughs> good solution. Go, you're gonna have a big. So you, I'm sure. Can I you know, do know who that. added it's... parts to bills? Yes, I, was also I think you can generally follow no. pretty much everything. No, they just upload no? the entire bill just online. Exhausting. It doesn't tell you who fucking added additions to bills. There is no law that makes them allowed to do that. They they, oh. they just upload they just upload the whole bill and they say these are who voted on it. And you know what? That should we have be this done crazy in public fucking thing called github that allows you to show change commands and you can just say hey bill fucking dumbass added this stipulation you that like yourself, two Steve. million billion dollars goes to a fucking clown school and you can just add that feature and then we can all see it and we can publicly shame bill dumbass for doing that the th but, but like, uh, you're you can already <laughs> do that i see every once in a while i see people talk about like specific it's usually criticizing people in the democratic bench that's because why they're, they're, they're the they're, ones that have the responsibility. But the, they're not the, the, they're not blaming a specific individual. They're blaming a they party. They are. They are. It just doesn't matter because, you know, just because the, the who's that guy? I, I don't know names. I'm sorry. But like if I see the faces, I can recognize them. But like there's a lot of people in the Democratic side of things that basically are, are there to make things not work. Things, and, and you could, and, and like that, that's even the case for for things like the military budget and the 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 health care. For sure, is a, is a situation like they they don't put they don't want to they they're in this you're in a situation they where to, they don't want to isn't an answer though they don't want to is not an acceptable answer that the answer has to be either yeah. we can't or we won't and if you won't then we're gonna get rid of you and put someone yeah, who that's will the, that's and like if you can't then you need to find a way to do it there is no no there is no I'm, what I'm what I'm saying there is no no you are not allowed to say no to the answer like. Because the only if you say no, we will replace you with someone that says yes. Because it's possible will, you just don't want to, and don't wanting to isn't an answer. That's an that's apathy towards a problem, and they that problem doesn't go away. Like you have all to, of the twenty uh, democratic one of the most successful united. politicians in our country is somebody who just refuses to do things, and that's like his platform essentially is just being an obstructionist asshole that shuts down the government and ruins everything. And I have to say, uh, and, I give and, props to every single person and he's in the fucking Congress. Corrupt, and it just works for him. Mitch McConnell is just and, like, this is my life. I'm a turtle and man. I have to, and, and, I, and like, I'm I give credit. I'm a corrupted like, nightmare person. 
If I was Bernie Sanders, I probably would have rolled my sleeves up and I would have fucking chokehold that guy until he lost breath. And then I would have taken <laughs> his body, thrown it outside on a, on a pike and used it as a fucking deterrent for other people like him. Like this was the a fucking entire... medieval time. Like how the hell do you just stand there? You go to fucking work, you sit there and you go, Jesus fucking Christ, why did I even come in if this fucking asshole is just going to say no to every goddamn thing that happens? <laughs> I'm just going to fucking beat the shit out of him until he says yes to at least something. <laughs> like the entire... Me. Like, I remember like, reading, the entire I remember in high school and, like, college and stuff, like, hearing about, like, duels that would break out from the political system. It's like, wow, what a savage time we once lived in. And, but then as I get older, I'm like, how did that ever stop? How did they ever stop killing each other? <laughs> because, yeah. holy Dude, crap. I would have been, I would have literally been like, I would have replaced my arms with guns and I would have challenged every senator to a fucking duel. I'd always and think I would about, like, like, people are like, say, we live in such divided city. times. It's like, they like, used to you kill say, each other. <laughs> Kind of yeah, they used to like show up and be like, "All right, sir, we can't settle this by words. I've got a two flint pistols and a fucking butler. We're gonna settle this like men." And like we would just go outside. The butler would the go, "Go!" And then they would turn around and fucking shoot at each other. Like Jesus the sad, Christ. Like, the sad part is that you, Andrew, you, you mentioned Bernie Sanders, and he's one like one of the criticisms that I see thrown at him sometimes is that he's too kind to the people in his party, and he's he's too he he's too, like he would it's not he his probably party. would be the last one. Yeah, he's there no, by like yeah, proxy. But, it's not his party. He, his party would be a socialist when, party. I'm but talking, they can't yeah, exist I'm in this the, godforsaken hellscape. I'm talking so about like, the uh, the presidential uh, run. Yeah, uh, well, again, well, it's well, he because is he's pretending trying... to be a Democrat. Like, for sure, for sure. Yeah, he's inherently like, he, trying his to play career... the system to push the Overton window in a specific direction yeah. because he's, his, 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 his career is ideology about being, is literally yeah. not represented by a party. <laughs> like, like, the entire Democratic status quo, not status quo, what's the word? Yeah, he's always the fucking second runner-up somehow, so... Like... They all united against him, mostly because of Medicare. It's like... All the issues that we're talking about, you know, like it's the perfect example. And I'm not saying that Bernie Sanders didn't have things that you could criticize him for. I'm just saying that Bernie, in no, this no one, one's ever saying Bernie Sanders is perfect, but he's saying yeah. some really good fucking shit that I don't hear from anybody else that I'm supposed Andrew to Yang. be voting for. Uh, yeah, you hear you hear some. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, that, I'm maybe. Was I'm, that Keith? I said Andrew Yang. Oh, yeah. like there were there were a nobody lot of, else, but it's people that are way less popular. There were well, a lot of, okay, a but lot Andrew of Yang's policies that aren't that Medicare, yeah. aren't some of them aren't that great. Like his uh, uh, what's it called? Like his data ownership policy is fucking abysmal. God, I want to just shoot my fucking. Oh, but that's head the and, thing. It's like nobody's like, perfect. It's just a, ma no, a matter there's, of there's there's a seeing... difference between nobody's perfect and stop making it worse. And he's just making it worse. His policy is well, like I'm gonna tax data, and it's like I so they can still take it from you, and then they just pay money to the government. He's like, well, no, you get He's it. Very, no, I don't. Yeah. I'll never get the money. Don't fucking lie to me like that. I just, this is a bad idea. All you're doing is you're going to make it so more companies have more money in government. And so the companies can pay, like Facebook just pays a senator to go like, hey, bud, I'm going to pay you this much money. Don't collect taxes on the fucking data that I collect for a while. Okay. Is that all right? Hud, hud, hud. Like, this is a dumb system. Don't fucking lie to me, you piece of shit. Yeah, Come but up with a better time one you called have... like, no one's allowed to take my data. Because data but, is my own private information, you fucking coward. <laughs> like, but at the same time, you have that whole idea about democracy bucks, which is an actual academic thing. I know it has a weird name, but like he, again, <laughs> everybody. I, uh, I know, I know, it was sort of ridiculed, but what a like horrible that's a, name that's for a, anything. It's what a horrible but it's a real thing. Anything. It's like a, an actual uh, sort of. It's a merging of the capitalist sort of libertarian system with, with democracy that has academic reasoning and, and obviously that doesn't matter much that it has academic reasoning i'm just saying that you know that he has some interesting ideas i'm not a, a yang clan sort of person but still yang, yang gang excuse me yang gang sorry i'm uh, sorry I, i'm not i'm not clued into <laughs> american politics twilight. enough twilight stop twilight. jesus christ i was gonna say like, twitch is, but okay whatever twilight. like the, i'm team edward i'm team but fuck fuck off i'm i just want to live in a fucking stable country jesus christ no, people just come up with play. a catch people just try to come up with a catchy name for whatever like person they're rooting Don't. for like, how about you come up with catchy fucking <laughs> policies please please i'm dying here like god it's like that meme of the person's like it's time for the fucking say the fucking slogan for your president it's probably been proved <laughs> that if you make something like, rhyme you're more likely to become president oh yeah no it's no it's not because has, make america great again doesn't rhyme human psychology is really dumb 
Yeah, but I mean, just mean like getting something really catchy and simple, and that simple yeah, yeah. phrase is more important than any of your if, policies. Like, if that hope, was the case, then he would have won easily because just or, say "Make America Yang Again." Yeah. Oh my God, that doesn't rhyme. Done. That yeah, doesn't rhyme. That doesn't accomplish anything. It That's rhymes just as much no, as "Make America Great Again." All you have to no, do is just replace the I, great I, with I, anything I, I else. I clarified that it doesn't have to rhyme. I was saying like it has to. <laughs> you need your catchy catchphrase nonsense because like the that 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 simple. That simple phrase that sounds promising and vaguely gestures towards the ideology of the people you're trying to rally up is probably more important than anything you actually have to say. And Can I- if, if, if you repeat it enough times, people will literally just project what they want it to mean it's onto it. It's a spectacle. It. And, that's, and then spectacle. you don't have to say the thing, which why, means you can't get called out for saying the thing, which works both ways. Like, if you're implying vague socialism stuff... But you don't actually get called out for saying socialism stuff. You just vaguely imply it. Or in the case of Donald Trump, say racist, fascist, fascist stuff, but constantly dance around it in a way where people can't always directly call you out on it. You just keep no, talking about. No, people can call him out. You know, just ah. make the country great again. You know, back in the past when we were great. You I've know, got a where great every idea. single every single era of our entire country in the past was worse for the majority of our entire population. You know, the past, great again. They just. Okay, what so could that possibly a... mean? It could mean so, anything. You can't yeah, call me exactly. out on we it. We know exactly what it means. It's very interesting whenever you try to ask somebody, though, what they thought MAGA meant. It's like, do you want to go back to the time when we were, like, pre- ignoring the entire gay population while it was being, like, ravaged by AIDS and just ignoring and just letting them quietly die? Yes. Or do you want to go back to, like, Jim Crow era? Or, yes. like, what, which specific... Past Every, yes, period it's o- of America it's always, was yes. the better time because it's always it's, yes. it's, it's been a real yeah, bad. Like, you want to go back to like a couple of years ago when gay marriage wasn't legal? Is that the goal? Yes. Like this, which which yes. was which one of these things? Which like, which I, I think a large part of it was better. Like, I'm not joking. For it's, it, it's that's why it's, it's all vague. Those. It's vague yeah. on purpose because everyone has a great America they lived in, and that's well, yeah, the part because they it's, want it's to go back to. It's yeah. it's one of the tenets of fascism is to is to create the myth an imaginary of a past, past yeah. time that w- where you were better and then blame an outsider group even if that outsider group is literally from the inside of your group you you cre- you create an outside group that robbed you of your past heritage and then and demonize them like that's that's the heritage. that's the fucking playbook There's not a single american who has a fucking heritage in this goddamn country yeah but the the uh the american our 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 our, our joined mythos is the constant reinvention of the idea that the past of America was, was beautiful and perf- ah, I was muted. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Dialogue Choices. It's been a nightmare. Uh, I love you all. <laughs> Have a good night. Uh, hit that like button. Smash subscribe and rule thirty four the send, bell. And don't uh, <laughs> forget to send your questions. Don't forget to send your questions to Dialogue Choices Podcast at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you hated it.